and I'm here! Hello everyone! Oh, it's been a night. Okay, let's do late night. Late night stream, hey? Um, yeah, okay, so the title. The title. Hello, Sandy! How are you? Um, it's been a night. It's been a night. I'm so excited to tell you. So I've been at the Victorian Artist Society, which is where I have my little residency with four other artists at the moment. Today was one of their three big exhibitions for the year where all the members enter. Um, it was the Autumn Select show and I entered a piece like everyone else. I went to the opening. It was great. And there were lots of people and we had wine and we had food. And I got highly commended! <gasps> Yay! So that was very exciting. Um, I had a feeling, oh, or rather, I knew something was up because I got an email from the president being all like, you're coming to the opening, right? And I'm like, yes, I'm coming to the opening. Um, but yeah, so that was very, very exciting. Um, I'll, I'll jump onto the website and then I can show you the piece that I did for it. But I'm so jazzed, it was so fun and I talked to so many people. Um, I really, I had like this much time to actually vote because every member is meant to vote on their favorite artworks and that all goes towards Artist of the Year at the end of the year. Um, and I, I, I had to rush to do that at the end of the show because I'm just like, I need to get out of here, it's spending too long. Um, yeah, but it was really fun and lovely. So that was really nice. How are you? How are you, Sandy? How's things? <laughs> I'm, I'm on a cloud now. This is great. I'm going to jump over to my computer screen and let's open up a window. Boom. Uh, so I can show you some of the pieces. Because it's fun. There we go. Yay! This is Victorian Artist Society website. Sorry, I literally like ran in the door. And my lovely husband, Dr. Batman, started the stream for me so I could start on time. Um, and I just don't worry it. I am highly commendable! Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's quite cool. And it's like a framed certificate. I'm like, I have no idea where I'm going to put it. Um, but that's, yeah, really, really fun. So I'm excited about that. Let me just get the baby monitor up so I can watch her. And the other thing. Oh, haven't, haven't stopped for a minute. She's upside down, as you do. Upside down in the pocket. That's fine. Hopefully so. Okay, so yeah, so this is the Victorian Art Society website. Um, and I can show you the thing. With the thing. Let me go over here. That's better. Now my window is near my chat. Yeah! Alright, and let's go down. Does it have just the exhibition here? This is the exhibition I'm in. So this is the Autumn Select Exhibition. Oh, that I just have all the artworks that are in the exhibition. That's annoying. Um, what can I do? Online gallery? Maybe? Yeah. This is Re. She's a streamer and also another coterie artist. I'm going to give her a little shout out. Um, that's one of her beautiful pieces. And she was there and got some lovely photos with her artwork. So that was great. Her, work, her work's really big. It's really nice and huge. Um, so it had a very good presence as you walked in. My piece is next to hers, but it's like little, littler. Um, yeah, so that was cool. This piece was stunning in person. It was huge and like way more purple. This is just a terrible photo of it. No offense to Louis. Take better photos or get better photos because the, the piece was beautiful. These are all other pieces. So lots of variety of work, not just traditional stuff, not just realist stuff. Um, Yes, yes, the integrated Twitch YouTube chat thing is on, Joby. I can see you on YouTube doing the chat chat. So thank you. That's absolutely fine watching on mobile. Thank you. I really appreciate the watch hours on YouTube. Thank you. Um, so that's awesome. Um, if I just scroll through, I'm just trying to find... Most of these are in the show. I'm just trying to find some of the other ones I knew. I really like this one. This was a glass sculpture of like cool like floating boobs. Um, so that was very cool because I was sort of like mating clay and then casting glass and then the colours added so that one was very cool. That's by Zoya, um, who's an older artist. You're watching on both? <gasps> Zinni! How are the kitties? They're getting used to it? Used to watching watching my streams? Um, I'm very privileged. This one, Calligraphy Work by Michael Smith. Michael Smith is another one of the coterie artists. This is a beautiful still life of his. I really liked, actually I'll click into it. The, see the little rings on the folder? They really looked like they were coming up out at you. That was so cool. Um, how's my volume and stuff, by the way? Am I okay? You can hear what I'm doing. 
I, I literally ran in and hit go and yes let's do the thing um, yeah I like curled my hair tonight tried to look fancy very quickly doffed my fancy outfit for a single top anyway uh, what else are we doing this one was really cute it was just this tiny little wallaby and this one was really big this was a big pastel one. Oh, cool thank you Jenny thank you this one was huge this was like longer than my arm span. It was huge, huge, huge um, of like people around a campfire. Apparently the artist Sam, he said he painted it from like a movie still. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Um, this one was really cool because it was on wood, so all that brown is like the wood. Pickles is sitting in the assistant chair tonight. Good work, Pickles. Um, Dipper came in for a second, but then she left when I started moving my bag and stuff. This is Jenny. Jenny is another one of the Coterie artists. So there's five of us all together. Five. Um, so how many of that is? that you've seen. You've seen Ree's work, you've seen Michael's, this is Jenny's. Um, this one was quite small, it was a little one. Yeah! Hey Jay! Hey you! Lovely to see you. Mr. Have your own zine in the comic shop fancy person. <gasps> Do I have a shout out for you? I don't have a shout out for you. Let's make a shout out for you. I'm gonna be easily distracted tonight cause I'm floating on the cloud. Jay, did you hear my news? I'm just gonna keep holding it up. It's the Victorian Artist Society show. I got a thing! Look at my thing! My thing! And it's for my life drawing piece of Falco! Which is so cool. We haven't found it yet on the website. We'll find it. Um, what am I doing? Commence. Commence, 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 commence. Stream elements! Yay! Everyone, if you don't know Jay, JK Inc. Amazing illustrator, artist, comics, zines, the whole shebang, pop culture artist, all the cool stuff. <gasps> Yay! I'm glad you know the news now. I'm excited. No, I don't have a command for you. Let's make a command for you. Yay. Okay. Everyone should know Jay's work. Do you want people to see your Instagram or your website? I am probably going to keep going. <laughs> That's the problem with streaming, it's like people come in whenever they can come in and that's fine, but it just means I'm going to repeat the same news for a whole stream. Um, but that's okay, because we are actually going to do some painting, hopefully. I've got a harpy that I'm working on and I really, really, really want to get into it now with all this adrenaline energy. Um, I don't know my music. Phil, what are you doing? Gamma. Play stuff. You're not, you're not being good to me. There you go. Play that. Yeah. Right, play that. Then. Good. You do that. You do that. Well, I'm doing things. Yeah. <laughs> I've even checked Instagram. I have notifications. Ah. 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 That's the worst thing when you arrive yourself somewhere and then stuff happens is that you don't have that time in the car if someone else is driving to like digest and <laughs> check your phone. Activate command. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will write something more eloquent later, Jay. But for now, that'll do. Um, for the record, everyone... Oh! See, this is the thing. Okay, so YouTube viewers, that's a different command on there than on Twitch. I thought Stream Elements deleted all my commands from when I used to stream, but apparently they do exist just in some hidden nebula where they only show up on YouTube. And I don't know why. I go into stream elements, it only shows me one command thing, and it's the new commands, not the old commands, so how do the old ones exist but they don't pop up? I don't understand. Anyway, uh, keep looking through here. Oh, this is the fourth. Oh no, go back, go back. Not that one. 
I mean, I'm sure that one's pretty good. But this one. This one's by Natasha, so that's the fourth Coterie artist who's not me. Um, and there's five of us all together. Um, this one is really pretty. Natasha actually is overseas at the moment, um, but it's awesome that one of the pieces still got into the show, so I'm guessing someone else helped get that one in there, which was great because it was a more contemporary piece, and I'm like, yay! Hey, Lil! Can I annoy you with positive things and make you positive by proxy? Please, 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 please. I'll put, I'll put Harold on. We could do that. Oh, I can't do that on the screen. We'll fix that in a minute and we'll go to the other screen. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come on waffle. Mods in the house. Hey, guess what? 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 Dude. We got a thing. Highly commended. Yeah. So that's my note. <laughs> um, anyway, trying to find the painting. Blah, blah, blah. This one was beautiful. Oh my god, I love this new wattle piece with the things. Award paper! Yeah! Yeah, it's framed. Where do I put it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere. Uh, difficult. This one was de deceptively pretty. Oh, there's me. This one! Click. Click. Ah, there you go. Yay! So this is Falco, and this was one of my life drawing pieces from Hawthorne Artist Society. Um, a wood paper in the garage. <laughs> in Bondi today, I haven't even looked at the news, I'm so sorry if shit's gone down. Oh, now I feel bad for not knowing that. Okay. Don't take up valuable indoor art space. Probably true. Probably true. Because I fill the walls in here. Um, hey, that's, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna check in with that later, but I'm sorry if I, I want to stay on my little cloud of happy for five minutes, which is a whole thing. But yeah, this was a painting I did. It was a three-week session. Um, I did two and a bit weeks, because the second week maybe wasn't... Don't look at the news, it's sad. Oh, that's just really ominous now. Okay. Bad time. Lots of people, or one person, or a couple of people. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Unless it's less. Fuck. <sighs> that's real life for you. Uh, that's real life for you. You get both at the same time. The good and the bad. But yeah, um, I'll tell you about this piece anyway. Just cause I'll look later. Okay, thanks Jamie. Um, yeah, this was a three week pose. Second week I only got, I think, 20 minutes into it and I had to leave. I had a great day and then the news. That, that feels like, yeah, life. Unfortunately, I've had a lot of days like that. And it fucking sucks. I'm glad Bondo. No, I'm not glad Bondo isn't here, because, you know, it doesn't matter where things happen, it just is the fact that they happen. Oh, it sucks. But I was happy to know that Falco, the model, came to the show, which was really cool, so he got to get in photo of me of, of us holding up the little certificate and stuff. I'll find the artwork that came first. So I got a highly commended. I think there was four highly commended. And then there was a first overall. Oh, look up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and then there was a curator's choice, which was that film one. I showed you before. Oh, I can go back up to that one. Um, yeah, but this is a little piece on aluminium, same as what I'm painting last night. And yeah, I'm just really, really happy with it. And the judge made some really nice comments about how they liked the brush strokes in the hair being really loose and then the body being more refined. There's another one of my artworks. We all know that one. So that one's not in the current show, that one's just on the website. Um, but I might enter it in the next show, because I talked to one of the people there tonight and they were all like, you should enter something bigger. And I'm like, okay, I have a big one at home. Dying to be hung up on a wall. Um, so that'd be good. Uh, okay, so I can't actually see the one there, the one, which was by Gregory Smith. So, if I just look him up quickly. These are the vast majority of all the artists at the Art Society, because everyone gets like a cool little page, which is cool. Gregory Smith is actually not a pa not only a past president, but a current teacher, and he won the show because his work is crazy good, as you can see by these very realistic still life situations and yeah he teaches a whole bunch of classes he's done whole exhibitions that's a whole bunch of his work the falco one's quite small it's like i think it's nine by twelve 
so it's quite small. Um, I can't see the work there, that is the one in the current show. God, he's got a lot of artwork on here, that's cool. Oh, look at that. Look at the photo. But I shouldn't say that because he has this whole thing in it. Yeah, the one that he did isn't there. That's annoying. Um, but it's one of like, it's like a gold um, satin kimono style robe with a, a Chinese vase in front with a dragon on it, which is really, really cool. Um, Falco, the, the model, is shorter than me. He, he's, he's little but, but muscly. Um, <laughs> But he's lovely. He's Mexican and um, yeah, an absolute sweetheart. And his mum actually messaged me saying she loved the painting back when I painted it. So that was really, really nice. Um, she said she wanted to buy it and stuff. I'm like, it's available through the Satcher, but thank you. Um, yeah, so that's really, really nice and cool. Um, yeah, what size did I say on here? Because it should actually say how big it is. It is 36 by 45 by 5. But that's framed. Yes. Yeah. What do I say about it? Falcon is standing poised, unwavering, and determined. Red cast coming up his arms from the stage. Yeah, so he had a piece of red fabric on the ground, and that's why it was like reflecting up red, which was quite cool. Uh, the Falcon, Bird of Prey, is a sim which Falco apparently is means Falcon, Bird of Prey. Um, symbol of laser light, concentration, and single mindedness by embracing the spirit of focus. He's so focused. We can harness our energy efficiently, overcome obstacles with determination, and remain sentiment. Oh, that was a good late night Liz writing something using the definition of Falcon on the dictionary. Good job. Oh, Lil, I thought you were going to say you did get goldfish crackers. You deserve your goldfish. I haven't been to Costco yet with, with Jack, although we had a play date today, which was really fun at my house. So the girls played, and it was amazing and lovely. Um, yeah. I'm sorry I made you cry though. Ah, sounds like you need to just let it out. Just catharsis. Just let it all out. It's fine. We, we're a safe space here. Let it all out. Ah. I don't know if he is single or straight. So I apologize for that. That I have no idea. <laughs> Nugget is so big now. I know. But actually, like, she's not, like, overly big. I don't know. With Robin, like, oh, my little bird, sorry. They, they are pretty similar and they like hung out the same happily today. Um, it's a TV! I got, I didn't win-win, but I got it, I got a highly commended! I'm just gonna keep pulling this up because I have a framed thing that I don't know what to do with it. Yeah! I mean, worst case scenario, I could put it in a, like a folder, but then it seems like a waste of a frame. Although it's an Ikea frame. Ikea. It's called a ribber. That's a weird thing. As you do. Um, yeah, 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 all right, I'm going to check the news for context now. Sorry, folks, I need to get context. Things happened today, and I have not been on top of my phone at all. Where is my mouse? Oh, that's so confusing when my mouse is on the OBS. Uh, I'm depressed without even knowing what it is, but this is life. Thank you, I did makeup, and I did curly hair tonight. So I like tried to use my GHD thing. Six people, fuck. Mm. That's like when we had our Burke Street thing. <sighs> oh, that's terrifying. As you do, as you do. Thanks, TV. I'm gonna, yeah, thanks for giving me context, everyone. I'm sorry I missed that happening. And that's a whole thing. Let's, let's, the other screen, and we can get ready for some painting. Seven, eight in hospital, one, nine months old. Oh, didn't need to read the, oh, okay. <sighs> okay. Hey Quill! How you doing? I, I got good news. I've just been reading the news though, which is intense and a lot. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair though. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, Quill don't. Well, 
you're gonna anyway, but this is a safe place. Let's all distract ourselves a little bit because that's all. <laughs> Love seeing you too. I got a thing tonight. Look. A thing. That was nice. An exhibition. Um, it's not like a first prize, but it's a highly commended. Um, but yes, sorry, the, the news is a lot. <sighs> kind of glad I have been so distracted tonight. Thanks, Jay. It's a really cool show. Um, yeah, in the thing. Thanks, Claire. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out today. Our girls are so beautiful. Having their play day. Oh, and little bird just wanted to keep playing like the whole day. She got like a tea thing out and was doing a tea party with her toys and stuff. And I'm just like, oh my god. That was so freaking cute. So cute. So cute. We have incredibly cute kiddos, and oh my god, are they growing up so fast, like, I can't believe, I do apologise, I was running late to come on stream, so I got Dr. Batman to turn on the computer for me while I was still, like, six minutes away in the car, and start the stream, so I haven't plugged in webcam, but we'll need to update Kofi, because everyone, Quill, gave me a better webcam to use for dog cam! Not today, but next next stream. So so we will update the thing. Or I, I think what I'll do is the donations that were already given, we will buy Dipper some treats with them. These are some of my new stickers, for nipply stickers, and my camera's not working, which actually that's probably a good thing. Um, because we need to figure out where to put them. So I'm just gonna hold this. Alright. Alright camera, I'm gonna get you working and then we're gonna put the stickers in the right spot. Let's get you... Boom. Nope, not you. You. Ah! That was in the wrong spot, you saw nothing. Whoop. And then who do we want? No, not that. Oh god. No. No! See nothing. <laughs> I'm moving the wrong things. I need to control them. Yeah, there we go. Now if I go up here. Yeah, so I've made a little folder of stickers and if anyone didn't see last night, they can get uh, anything you think would be a good sticker, we can put in my Discord and use to cover the bits. Alright, so I'm gonna put Poppy here and I'm gonna put Dipper here. So Dipper's my dog and Poppy's my niece. Yeah! Alright, cool. Um, I'm gonna use them to cover the bits. Actually, we don't need both of them, so I'll put Dipper away. Go with Dipper. And I've got Harold in there and a bunch of other little pets that I need to turn into stickers. Because um, I just want to make sure I have their names on because I'm terrible with names. So, yeah, we will do a bit of that. I'm just gonna move this as far to the edge as I can so you can see sort of what I'm doing. Huzzah! So this is my latest painting of a dead harpy. It's on aluminium, as you can see by the nice reflection. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's the smell. Hey, Arisette, it's good. I had I, the dead harpy. I have not touched since last stream, so I'm really eager to get into it. But but I'm gonna do it again. I went. I had an art show on tonight, which was the Victorian Art Society Autumn Select Art Show. Um, which is the Victorian Artist Society, all the members can put in one work and it goes towards Artists of the Year, so it's sort of a nice cool big show. And, and I got a thing! I got a thing! I got a thing! Yeah! So I'm gonna keep holding up the thing. A harpy is a Greek mythology character which was the body of a bird and the face of a woman and they would be sort of like wailing women that were often quite deadly and would be like curses of death and things like that so yeah there's a lot of sort of different stories that involve harpies in greek mythology um but the fact that they did sort of represent a lot of the like ugly traits in women i quite you know that's one of those you know turn ugly women or unwanted women into the enemy um yeah this is sort of representing that emotion of having all those ugly emotions and then it's sort of dying in its own way. So more of a personal response to a harpy, in my opinion, in my interpretation, rather. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm incredibly proud, especially because this is like the first official show I've been in with the Victorian Artists Society because I started my mini residency with them at the start of this year. So to be like 
pulled out by the judge who is a member as well um yeah very 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 cool and a lot of the the older committee members and stuff because like the victorian artist society has been around since 1873 which is crazy um compared to everything else in australia which is like so young like this is one of the oldest things and this is the, they started the art society when melbourne was a tent city because it was literally all the all the white people coming over and colonizing colonizing killing everyone um we keep going back to depressing um but yeah yeah thank you it feels really good it feels really good and it's a completely again it's a completely different audience and all that sort of thing did our music die again or was it just me what are you doing music or is it my headphones that are being weird? That, maybe it's that. I was listening to my baby monitor. That's why it kept going away, because my headphones were connecting to my baby monitor. Thank you, I'm so glad the music has been going the whole time. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear yourself. That's probably a good thing. But yeah, no, I was very glad that um, Dr. Batman and Baby were all okay tonight so I could have the night to go to the thing and I could talk to all the people and meet people and they had they had the giantest charcuterie board. Oh my god. I, I'll see if I, there's a photo on Instagram. I think there is. If I take it down here. Oh, let's quickly have a look at Jay's work while we're here. Boom. Everyone, this is Jay, who's in the chat, who's awesome, and I made a command for just a minute ago, and that's why I was stalking your Instagram. Jay is a friend artist who is amazing. Um, there was cheese, there was cheese. There was so much stuff. Yes, chilling, decompressing, and definitely want to do some painting with this energy, Arisat. I think that's definitely the vibe. Um, yeah, we're still working on our mini goals, which is another four days this month of streaming. And then we should be able to become, what's the word, an affiliate? Yeah, which would be very, very cool. Um, so I think that's where I'm just going to quickly check. That's where we're at. I'm pretty sure that's where we're at. And my thing. No painting, only art critique, please. Sure, send me art to critique. I'll critique. I like critiquing. You're here for the charcuterie content? Oh, Jay, but I was showing you off. All right, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and show some of Jay's work. This is Jay Zine, which is now available at, uh, blah, 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 at All Star Comics in Melbourne, which is very cool. There he is, at All Star Comics, and it has a fold-out poster. Yeah, which is really cool. Look, it's on the shelf. It's a legit thing, go buy it. Go buy it. Yeah. Oh, no worries, Ariset, thank you so much. I'm gonna be here at least two hours, if not a little bit more, we'll see. We'll see how much into painting I get. Yeah, lovely to see you though, thank you. Um, yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Such all day stuff. Anyway, what was I looking up? What was I doing? Charcuterie. Yes. So if I look up Victorian Art Society. Hey, look. Hey, look. It's that guy who they posted two days ago. Two days ago? One day ago. <laughs> That's me. Bye. Oh my god, definitely. I was like, go to All Star Comics and CJ. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, my painting because they posted it this is some more posts from the art society that's one of the galleries it's an amazing building because it's like the original gallery is the downstairs oh the original studio so is the downstairs tiny little room at the back which is like all original bluestone and stone floor like wood floor and yeah it was basically built like a shed and then they built this beautiful giant heritage building all around it um i'm gonna go back to the start of this story so let's have a look that's one of the paintings in it. There's some more paintings in it. That's another painting in it. That's another one. I like that one. That one's a life model called Richard. He has the most amazing mustache. <gasps> so good. Look at this charcuterie robot. That doesn't even show you the scale. That's like half the scale of like, it was that but double. And I totally got a chisel. I got like two things off of it because I kept talking to people, but I got a chisel. I never get cheesels, and they were so good. Yeah, that's the big room. And look, look, that's my head. You can see my head. I'm um, standing there. That's me. 
because um, I was over there with the other people. And then my artwork is, is here, but it's behind heads because it's little. But that's Ree's artwork. And then that one's Michael's. And then Jenny's is behind these people's heads. Yeah, that's me, the doll person. I wore boots with heels. I'm still wearing them, even though I'm sitting down. I was very tall tonight. It was fun. Um, yeah. And it was a huge turnout. Like, this is maybe a third of the people who were there, because there's another third of people over here, and then another lot going out the door. Because there's three big gallery spaces. This is the first one. Um, and this one has a stage and stuff. So, ooh, is there any better views of the gallery space? I'm going to make a reel later, later on Instagram, so definitely check out my Instagram. Probably tomorrow I'll post it. Because um, I took lots of footage and things. I just... I literally ran straight here. <laughs> there you go, that sort of shows you. So the middle gallery has this big opening where the giant staircase is downstairs. And then you've got the Hammond gallery and the other gallery. It's Hammond, the middle one's called the McCubbin, and then the other room. Meh, where are we? Exit. I keep looking at my stream bit, not the thing. And then this is the studio downstairs, which actually, if I just go to my Instagram, I can show you the studio downstairs. And the moment, whoop, whoop, whoop. This sort of shows you the studio. This is where I, this is one of my pieces I was doing the other night, which I can't use my sticker for the bits on this, so just just ignore the bits. You see nothing. There's none of them. None of them. <laughs> Actually, that doesn't show you the room very well. I thought I took a better one of the room, or maybe this one. So that's the outside of the building. Which how mad is that? And the giant staircase, as I mentioned, Fraser Gallery. That's the third gallery. Um, it's epic. And apparently, four years ago, before they did their big redevelopment, because they, like, restored everything, they did a big restoration thing. That's me! Hi. Um, yeah, before they did that, the whole place was carpeted in ugly old carpet and had 400 pieces of old wooden furniture in it. That's the studio. Isn't that such a nice big space? And all of these easels are original, um, and the floors are all original, and the posts are all original. So they have all been there since the... 1800s, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, yeah. Now they said while they were doing the restoration works, um, they put extra heating and exhaust fans in the actual studio. They had to plastic wrap up the poles because they didn't know which paint marks were made by like the the master artists like Frederick McCubbin and things like that who painted at the Victorian Artist Society. So they had to protect it. And after they did that, they uncovered it all again, of course, and it turned back into a working studio. So I got some of my paint on my finger and I put a blob on the pole to be all like, ha ha, I have a blob there with all the great people who have painted here. <laughs> Made my mark, literally. Um, so that was really fun. Yeah, so that's where I was hanging out tonight. And that's where I got my, my, my highly commended. And this is my little triple post I did the other day because I'm obsessed with triple posts every now and then in my feed, which are entirely superfluous. Oh, this is my painting painting of my piece. Blobworthy, yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to describe it. I'm blobworthy. So this is me painting Falco. This was the first session. Um, and yeah, I went straight in with colour. No underpainting. Didn't have time for that because it's a life session. Um, and then that's as much as I got done in the first session. And then I don't think I posted the second session. This is straight into the third. No, this is week two or three. Okay, so I got a little bit done before I had to zoom off. And I did my paper towel trick. You know when you obsess too much over one area of the painting and you don't, like, do the rest of it? I had to put a paper towel bit over it. Actually, I got a lot more work done that week than I thought I did. I got a fair bit done. Cool. Okay, that's good. Maybe it was the first week I had to zoom off. Yeah, because I didn't get much done the first week at all. Mini start. Yeah, okay. So the first week was the one where I didn't get the whole session. I literally... That's one session, two... So each pose is 20 minutes, one, two. I got three, three poses deep before I had to leave. So I think we get six poses or more, six to eight in the three hours, depending on how they're holding it. And yeah, then this was a full session. This is why I got so much more done in the second session. Okay, good. Yeah. I had a little bit, but really this is where it turned into a portrait. And then, yeah. My third session. Did I do a reel for my third session? I don't think I did. Originally I was putting all my life painting stuff on my Liz Gridley sketchbook Instagram. Oh, that's the third one. There. Oh, so I've only got the finished there. I forgot to do. 
That's the hard part when you know you've got limited time and you're right near the end. It's much harder to remember to film because you don't have time to F around with filming in the breaks. You're just working on it. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I, I worked on the background and things like that in every break. I didn't actually stop painting for the whole three hours that week. Essential though. Got it done. So I'm really happy with it. Yay. If anyone wants to buy it, it's now available through the Victorinus. So. Yay. I'm not going to check my notifications, even though I'm really tempted to. Let's come back over here and do some painting. So if I can finish the whole underpainting tonight, that would be rad. I just need my reference picture. Where's my reference picture? Everyone else tell me about you. How you doing? How you doing, Conwaffle? You had a good day? How was your meeting this morning? Thank you for always describing me as bloodworthy. I'll take that as a compliment. Sure. Um, where's my reference photo? I will tell you all when the next show is on at the Victorian Arts Society if you want to come just for the charcuterie, do it. Some people brought a whole bunch of friends and I'm like, I didn't tell anyone it was on because I wasn't organized. My bad. Well, I told, I told Falco it was on because he was the model. So I'm glad he came. That was great. Um, I did make a Harold. So he should be in here. Hold on. I just need to import him. Oh, I did. There he is. There you go, then we'll use Harold instead for today. Boop, boop, boop. Go in there. Cool. There's Harold. Uh, meeting was good. I think I mean with good chance. <gasps> Yay! They were positive about it. They think they can get it. Or they're just like very excited about the concept. You're being driven back from Shepparton. Long drive is long. Long drive is long. But hey, being a passenger. Being a passenger is great. That's what I, I struggle with sometimes when I'm just like, I just want to talk to people and check my stuff. Um, oh, I need to update the Kofi thing, don't I? So yes, with Kofi, we now have a new puppy cam, thanks to Quill. It's just not plugged in, but it will be next stream. And one of these days, I'll, but I'll use the money already donated to buy her treats to bribe her to come in here um, so it's all going to a good cause so don't worry about the Kofi donate thing tonight um, and we will unless you just want to support me and buy me a chai um, and that would be great so yeah, the Kofi thing is that one? no not that one that one? No. this one hey if you want to buy me a chai you're more than welcome but you don't have to uh, well, it hasn't really been put on here since 2012. Yes, so it's not overdone. Hala, huzzah. And yes, the foyer idea. Yay. You don't need it to be a ride. People can just walk through. Watch hours? Watch hours are going really well. Thank you for asking. I'm really, really thankful to everyone. If I have a look, because we said on dis, I had left it on Discord where we were at, didn't I? So last time I looked, let's quickly check that. And then I'll get some paintbrushes out there. Paintbrushes are good. Oh, glasses, yes. Eye strain. Hello. Okay. Uh, where am I? Um, where is the thing? Where's my, my Discord? There it is. Okay, Sunny so posted in my Discord. There's pickles. You should go and check my Discord, which I think I did make a command for that. <laughs> anyway, distracted again. Will YouTube ever monetize me? Yeah, last time we looked, it was 9:25 watch hours, and if I check again now, it is much higher than that. And anyone who's been leaving my stream on, or has been watching, or tuning in, I am incredibly thankful because it's. It's, it's got momentum now. We're, we're getting some momentum here, people. This is grad and wonderful. Um, so, yay. 
that is exactly what I need and want and I'm so thankful that people are helping with it. We are up to 981 watch hours versus 925 a few days ago. So yeah, 925 on the 4th, which was just over a week. So in just over a week, we've added what, like 60 watch hours? That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. That's awesome. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Um, any watch hours on YouTube, highly, highly appreciated. Um, and yeah, if I get my however many more days on Twitch, then we'll be at affiliate. So we've, we've smashed followers completely. What are we on? Like 73 now? You guys are amazing. Um, streaming for the right amount of hours. Almost got that. Stream on seven different days is the one we're working on. So this is our fourth of seven days. We've got three more days to do. Done. And then we're done. And then that's all complete. And then we can all just be happy, happy little chill beans over here on Twitch. Um, thank you all so much for helping me with my goals. I really appreciate it. Yay. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Let's do some painting. Let's do some painting and chat. Oh, I can show off the, the, the baby's painting as well. Hold on. This, this, so the little girls today, we had our, our little Nuggie and Bird play session. This is one of the beautiful paintings. We went very aggressive and heavy over here. And then had some good, this is the, the action zone of easy to reach. So this is piece one. All pieces were collaborative because the girls kept changing which part of the easel they were working on. Because they, I got her one of those like A-frame easels for a birthday. And um, yeah, they kept swapping sides. This, this one was a mostly Liz. This was a Liz. That was a Liz. Can't remember if that was a Liz. And then this was a little bit more, but this one's a more minimal piece, you know. I could probably chop that into something frameable, something more evil. God, I really glow when I put this in, don't I? Reflected Morticia, pale skin light. Yeah. So then partner, yeah, no. Um, if anything, um, Quill at the moment is doing a partner push. So if anyone's not following Quill, please, please do. Um, because she has got her average. She's just got to keep it up for the like, next little while, which is amazing. Um, Quill it will be streaming again on Sunday, so tomorrow, doing Sim stuff, which she's really, really good at cool Sim stuff. So yeah, and she makes custom Sims and things like that as well. Yes, your niece is an artist, duh. Sorry, duh. <laughs> um, yeah, good use of color space. And then this one is the more maximalist piece. This is on the thin, oh, you can kind of see that, there you go. This is very, very green with some spots. This one had the sponge brush get some use. I think Quill did a little bit on this one. Quill, did you do some on this one? Okay, I don't know if you're still watching. If you are, I'm so chuffed with them. They're gorgeous. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was the, the miniatures art day today. There was also a lot of drawing. There was a lot of sketching happening. I have not pulled those out specifically. I have those in here because they had to dry. And that was the thing. I'm like, please don't squish them while they're very wet, soggy pieces of paper. Um, cool. All right. Is our medium still good from the other day? Yes, it is. Nice. Do we have paper towel? Yes, we do. Nice. Nice. The stream is making me think I should wear lipstick all the time because I actually have lips on camera today. But I don't normally wear lipstick because effort. Good use of colour and space, very textural, I agree. Next time I should get them some impasto medium so they can get like real thick and gooey, although it's all gonna end up on them. <laughs> Nug was so funny because she did the whole thing of like, nah, there's stuff on my hand, I have to wash my hand. <laughs> and that's what little bird used to do all the time. She's gotten used to it just now. Um, but just that whole idea of, why is my hand red and green? And, and I'm like, it's adorable, it's okay. Paint is okay, we can always wash it off later. Um, so yeah, that was quite funny. Funny and cute. Alright. Do you know what I didn't get before when I said I was getting it? The reference photo. There it is. Beautiful. Just gonna move you guys over a little bit. Cool. Oh, personal question. Is it distracting me looking sideways at chat? Would you prefer me to try and figure out a way to get the camera closer to chat? Or is it better having the camera above the easel so when I'm working painting I'm facing you? Don't know what's better. 
because I can put you on top of the computer monitor up there, it just means you're up over there. Now it's fine? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It feels weird painting in big high heel boots. <laughs> Definitely not the model for me. Alright, I just want to get right into the face. I know I should be working higher up. I should be putting gloves on. Shoots. Where are my gloves? There. I just use natural gloves. If anyone's ever curious, these ones are pretty good. Just to find them easy. Also, I like getting the black gloves because then I feel like a tattooist or a hairdresser. Whatever makes less cabling and a neater overall setup that allows you to hit go live and get right into it. Well, having it on the easel is pretty easily incentivizing, I think, because if I have it on the computer monitor, then I'm not as incentivized to easel paint. What always held you back was the fact that you had to pack up, pack down. Yeah, I do admit, the, the less I have to pack up, pack down, the easier it is. And that's even just true of just painting in general. Like, having a studio is a game changer compared to having to continually take your stuff out to main shared spaces, use it for a little while and pack it. Does anyone find that issue, even just with crafting and things? Like, if you have to work in a communal space, it's just a whole thing. I feel like I wanna zoom you guys in. All right, bear with me. Let's see. cap on. Well, that's a bit clearer. That's better. Let's put that away. I use a polarizing cap when I take um, final photos because it helps not have a whole bunch of reflections on the final photo. Ugh, this is being annoying. Is that still in the right space? Yeah, well enough. I'll get over here. Oh, that's a zoom and in as we can get. Sorry. Yeah. I don't think that helped at all, but whatever. Whatever. Focus there. I just wanted you to be able to see, because I'm going to be painting a teeny tiny face. I want it to be bigger. Or maybe I could just stretch the window. It's going to stretch the pixels a little bit, but... Yeah. Let's do that. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll get over here. Do it. Better. There you go. Now you can see a bit more. Yeah. Face day! Face day is the fun yet terrifying day because there's that ugly stage where everything's going to look real creepy for a bit. But we will persevere. And at least hair, you can't really get hair wrong, so that's a good place to start. I'm really excited about your news. Congratulations so much on that meeting going well. <laughs> that would be so cool for you to direct. Did you end up deleting your VOD from Twitch last night? Whichever one. I know it's not confirmed yet. It's just positive vibe. But, um, Kamawathal is also a streamer. Our lovely mod. Did I abbreviate that? I don't think I did. Um, you did unpublish it, smart. No, that's not my command. Where's my command? Did I not make you one? That feels rude of me. Yeah, I did. Ha <laughs> ha. Theatre, games, films, opinions, and more. Definitely opinions. Um, but yeah, Commonwealth did a test stream last night, so at least we know that your setup 
works. There was a few little bugs here and there, but you have a more complicated stream than me in some ways because you have alerts and a lot more overlays and stuff. I would like to build up to those things gradually and perhaps ask friends slash commission friends for help when I can afford it. So that is currently in the fundraising ideas bucket. Yeah. Comma waffle. I did not say that. That is almost a mod. Get rid of that <laughs> comment. You be careful, Lil. You want a new tiny camera? Why do you want a new tiny camera? You be nice. to make me mod my own mod. Oh, does anyone know? How do I mark the stream for... Oh, for indie cam. Yeah. Well, that's what Quill just lent me her spare camera so I can use that for Dipper Cam because current Dipper Cam is a bit sad. Um, this one, which is behind my head now. Yeah, not that she's sitting there anyway at the moment because she's all like, me, 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 mommy, you talking to yourself. Hmm. <laughs> misheard, misread, yeah, yeah. I get that, I get that. You just gotta be careful when typing it out, that's all. Because again, like these are going to be saved. And we're being careful, that's why we're using bit stickers. I love doing wiggly hair, that's just fun. And this is where the aluminium is just great, because it just keeps those little brush strokes, which make hair look fantastic. close to the bottom because I want to keep a little bit of a barrier so I don't think I'll go any lower than that which is fine because that's the limit of what you can see anyway. It's a hard thing when you want messy hair as well I don't want to make it too perfect like too pristine I need some messy brush strokes as well. might all go away if I decide to do a background, we'll see. I like all that edge finessing business, but that looks pretty cool. Yeah, happy with that. Just gonna chuck in. Oh, this is a tiny face, guys. Oh, this is a tiny face. What have I done to myself? Cool, 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 cool. Do I need to put the easel up so I'm not bending over like a hermit? Yes, I do. Harold, you're not doing your job. Might work out from this jaw. 
Just make the face twice as big, leave everything else the same. Helpful. Then you end up with a bobblehead harpy. And as much as it's a mythological creature that we do not know, you know, about. I'm not in the mood for a bobblehead. Should we right? <laughs> I do admit, I was thinking about this piece when I was driving today, and I was like, I wonder if it would be, like, if it turns out good, one, should I do another one where it has, like, wings outstretched, because I do love pictures of birds with wings outstretched, or two, should I do, um, other animals, that sort of, like, centaurs and minotaurs and things like that, because I do love the merging of human, human and animal, that dynamic. That was always my favourite part of Fantasia, was the bit with all the centaurs. Um, not the racist part that they got rid of, but you know, the rest of it. Because there was a whole sequence in that that was very problematic. And that's why it's deleted. Do a beholder that, due to copyright reasons, is not strictly a beholder. Is a beholder the one in D&D &D who's the giant eyeball? Because if it is, I need to see if I can show you Morg's work of that. Give me one sec. Yeah, it is that one? Okay, okay, okay. Because there's an artist I need to show you then. Morgan was an artist on a YouTube show called Inside Art that is sadly not happening anymore. Um, but he is an absolutely rad artist, so you need to follow him on Instagram. I'm gonna scroll down and see if I can find the Beholder. Ah, <gasps> it's Gengar. I'm gonna show you Gengar next. He's been doing Pokemon and Digimon redraws at the moment. Oh, they're so good. They're so good! Giant eye wall with lots of other eyes on stalks. Yeah, it's spiky teeth. He's a very good friend. He's a very good friend. Oh, did they post a picture of it? More Digimon. Mogs. That's from 2022, so I doubt it's this far back. <gasps> well, that makes me sad. Let me just quickly check the inside art and stuff. Because I'm not going to go look for what video it's in, because it'll be. I have no idea how deep that would be. Did he post the beholder? Oh my god, they made so much cool things. I really like they did one where they took like animated characters and they tried to make them look like traditional paintings. Like they were doing it digitally, but it was still just like traditional painting style. And someone did like Aang from Avatar. Oh, that's right, and Alicia did um, Scooby Doo. I'll show you that next. Oh, now I'm just perving. That cool art. Because cool art is cool. I cannot find the beholder, and this is really annoying me. <gasps> Rude. Alright, well I'm going to show you this Scooby-Doo, which again is like animated character turned um, traditional art fancy painting. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's so proud and pretty. <gasps> so he's gorgeous. He's by Alicia, who I believe still works for the Jazza Studios people in Moa. But yeah, this is some of the other stuff they did. Look at this mashup of Garfield and Totoro. Like, that's ridiculous. It's so good. That was Alicia and Kat working together. Cat Art Illustrations was one of their artists. Who's another amazing artist I love and friend. Um, but yeah, this is all stuff that they did. And then if I go back, this is Morgz's work. <gasps> these are some of his Digimons. These are, so these Digimon are from earlier this year. That's 2023. February. No, last year. Last year. It's 2024. These are the ones he's doing currently. Look at the upgrade. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. He's so cute. So cute. So many spikies. Look at this. Look at this cloudy, fiery ball of goodness. Jazza. Jazza is a Australian YouTuber, art uh, YouTuber who's been around for like 10 years. Um, he's one of the bigger ones. Um, he does a little bit of everything. He's like an intuitive artist. He just sort of picks something up and has a go. Does love dragons, does love that sort of stuff. Um, but he owns an actual studio studio 
out regional Australia, regional Victoria way. Um, yeah, and he was trying to do multiple shows and stuff. I think he still has a show where he does like Warhammer stuff. They were called Tabletop Time. Um, I think that channel's still going, but the Insert Art one has been put on hiatus because it wasn't successful enough. Um, because the YouTube algorithm is a bit butts at the moment. But this is all Morka's work, so he's an Atomic on Insta. Shout out without a, a thing. What were you shocked about? You know, but not shocked. He did a call out like a year and a half ago for artists because he wanted to make the second channel, which was like a bit more like Drawfee, um, which is another big YouTube one where artists just sort of work together. This is a video game concept he's working on at the moment. Look at this baddie. <gasps> She's so cool. She's a sub boss. We're gonna stab ya. Eyeballs for shoulders, as you do. Beautiful. Um, Gengar, that was the other one I wanted to show you. Look at this boy! He's got eyeballs in his tongue! I commented, oh my gosh, the eyeballs on the tongue! That's very me. Yes, yes, no, I know. Well, I know Cat in person, and then the others I know because via Cat. Like, I've not met most of them in person, um, but I've chatted to them vicariously through Cat. So, yeah. Yeah! Yeah. Caused a fangirl? Yay! A fangirl is a, is a different mood. This is good. They are very tattoo inspired. Oh, if you commissioned Morgs to draw your tattoo, mm, I reckon I reckon our mutual friend Kitchman would love. Actually, I think I have shown him this because he did an Alakazam, which is just so his alley. Where's the Alakazam? You up there? Yeah, this guy. Look at him. That moustache has turned into billowing clouds of mystery. Look at me, I've commented on every single one. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> I am a dork for my friends who I love. Huh? I don't know that I haven't worked with him personally. I was gonna apply for the insert art artist call out, except it was like just after I had my baby, and I'm like, too risky, man. I, I just didn't know whether I'd be able to hack it, and turns out with the way that she is not a good sleeper, I wouldn't have been able to hack it. And like, Kat started on their show when she was nine months pregnant. Like, she had a baby and all that because she's an amazing wonder mum who can just do everything and like had her bub on the floor for some of the episodes of Inside Out where they were filming, and you can just hear him gurgling around doing his thing <laughs> on the floor or in the carrier. Like, a lot of the time she does that. Oh, go check her Instagram. This is just going to be a full, like, fan girl over other artist stream. Um, while I paint. Uh, if I go to Kat, I want to show you her latest really thing. Is it real or is it TikTok? Don't make me go to TikTok, Kat. Don't make me. Don't make me. Oh, you're going to make me. Really? This is all Kat stuff. Kat's amazing. If Jazza could do the thing where he magically sends you his autograph. Send him a letter! Why not? Send him a postcard! He's got an address and all that, I think, on his website. So, send him a postcard. Why not? Why not? But yeah, Cat. So good. So good. I know Jay is also a collector, as am I, of Cat's pieces. Um, yeah. But she's gonna force me to go to TikTok, because... How rude. Um to find this reel that I want to show you about her working with her bub. Take me to the Tiki Taki. Which, by the way, she's so cool! I know a cool person! <laughs> yeah. Um, where am I? Uh, is it this one? Is this one? No, that's a pinned one. It was a recent one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Oh my god, which one was it? Don't tell me it was in your stories. It was the one where she was working on the chick with the neon hair. Yeah, this one. No. Not that one. It was that artwork. But she made a thing. Oh my god, where is I think? Maybe it's on YouTube. She's on YouTube as well. She's in all the places. Eh. Eh. She was on YouTube before me. Kat's one of my friends who helped me get started on YouTube. Which, by the way, this is a new header image she did. And it's beautiful. I love it. I love her self-portraits, they're great. 
um, shorts. Give me shorts. Not that one. Not that one. Cat, why can't I find your cute reel, which was cute? This one. Is it this one? Yes. 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 It's this one. Okay. So she's working on a thing. She's doing a thing. It's all cool. You see the markers flowing. She's so good at like filming what she's doing while she's doing it. Hashtag goals is amazing. And then this is her baby in the carrier while she's trying to do all the drawing and filming. And he is literally playing with the markers with the caps on and just pulling them all out. He's just pulling them all out and they all end up on the floor. He's like every single marker, I want to pull them out and stick them on the floor. <laughs> How does she do art while doing all well, that? I, I do not know. I would not be able to function at all. And look at him. He's having a whale of a time. He's having so much fun. Oh, this marker on the floor. This marker on the floor. Another. <laughs> Almost got the whole stand. Oh my gosh. I don't know how she does it. She is an amazing wonder mum slash artist. Yeah. Yeah, Jay, had you seen this one? as someone who has above the same age because oh my gosh do you make art with your bub like around or do you have to keep your art making very separate because like i have to make mine very separate at the moment and it's it's just not as fun in a way but i haven't found out a way to do it cohesively that is safe for her and safe for whatever i'm working on you know I've got my easel set up next to hers. I have my spare easel. You hadn't seen it? <laughs> I don't know why that one popped up. It must have popped up just in my For You or something. Um, or in my algorithm or whatever. Because it's an older one. I thought it was new. I missed one. But, um, yeah. It's a good one for us artist parents. Or anyone trying to accomplish anything with a chaos person in your vicinity. She's asleep behind him in a small apartment at the moment. <laughs> hey, Jazz! <laughs> and see, baby sleeping, that allows you to do art. It does, it does. Has it been you the whole time, Jazz? I thought it was Jay. You elusive, sneaky person. Sneaky, lovely friend. My abs still hurt. Do yours hurt? We went to the gym the other day, Jazz and I. Jazz, is it? Were you who was here for the charcuterie content? Am I getting contacts now? <laughs> Should just call you the J's, both of you. You are the cute J's. Yeah. Hum. Stop with the stalky for five minutes. Uh, what about this bit? I do have a slight problem here in that the body, the light is coming from sort of this side and then the face, the light is coming from this side. So I'd sort of want to make the light curve up this way, like as a U shape. So I might have to darken up this bit later to make it make sense. Jazz is asleep. Oh, okay. It is you, Jay. <gasps> to be fair, like being on your phone is three quarters rested. It's like mostly rested. So, you know, it's much better than being full wired awake or doing dishes or something silly. So I count being on your phone as like, you're resting. That's what they tell me at daycare when the little bird hasn't actually napped. They're like, oh, she had a rest. Uh -huh. But daycare is so fun. Who would want to go to sleep? I get it. Is now 90 degrees turned in her bed, but whatever, she's still asleep and happy looking, so that's good. Alright. I'm glad most of my paint is still nice and wet from the other day. This underpainting color. It's the thing when you custom mix an underpainting scale, it's a real pain in the butt if you have to mix more later. But that's also why it's good to leave like a thick blob 
on your palette um, and don't let it sort of be too thinned out because the thinned out area will dry faster um, and also I don't like dry mixing my quick dry medium into my blobs on the palette I only put it on my brush sparingly as I go because then everything doesn't dry too fast I'm still leaning over like I'm like come up nice and opaque which is what we want yeah, that's, that's my problem this is where I lose my sketch if I'm not careful filling in the holes from my session now that I don't have my guidelines I've got to really make sure I'm paying attention to my reference where these forms meet, especially because I'm going from non-normal anatomy. Okay. Also, if anyone didn't catch the last stream, we did successfully raid out on Twitch to another person, so I'll remember to do that now when we say bye-bye. We'll do a raid out to another artist or friend streamer, um, whoever we can get onto. I've been stalking the art category, but oh my gosh, there's not very many traditional artists. Not that, you know, I wouldn't read out to a digital artist, it's just it's nice to promote similar to what I do with other people. Do I only paint um, artistically or just in life? I do lots of things. But um, in terms of art, I definitely oil paint number one, oil paint 80%, 70% of the time, and then I also do pastel love drawing and charcoal work, and I do normal drawing. I'm not very good at watercolour. Quill said today that she was interested in watercolour, and I'm like, I will quite happily pull out the watercolours and we can noodle around with them, but um, I am not a trained watercolourist by any means. Watercolours are sort of the opposite of oils in terms of how the technique functions so they intimidate me a bit because you can't fix your mistakes once you make the page colored you can't take it away and oil you can take away everything it is the ultimate control z undo button of paint which i like having that much control it's great It's a bit scary to me because, yeah, when you start buying the artist quality stuff, it's expensive. And then it's very easy to fudge it up. And who wants that level of pressure when you can just change everything, like with oils, or if everything's going really bad, scrape it off and start again. It's very versatile. in terms of life like I work I'm on I nerd I read I watch I all the things we can go to the gym now once a week I'm doing all the things getting fit at least attempting to pastels um, soft pastels mostly but I like oil pastels too craft yes I like to craft I dabble in craft um, moment more kitty craft than anything I've got two sewing projects which I cannot sew both of my sisters especially one of them is professionally a sewing person um, who makes professional level costumes and millinery and then the other one is a sewing hobbyist but very very much pro crochet and knitter so they are very much qualified in that stuff I am sewing a letter on a jumper in bad embroidery for my daughter because it's in one of her picture books and I'm like, it's the same letter that her name starts with so yes, I want her to have a bright pink jumper with a letter on it Pan pastels, yes, I love pan pastels Yeah, 
Um, she sews, yes. Uh, she sells novelty sewing stuff. Um, we can give her a little shout out one second. Do I have a command for her? Uh, God, how do I not have commands for everyone? Anyway, we'll do another little internet stalk. Let's do a little intersex stalk. By Victoria. Or a not mumble, Gridley by Victoria. She's a costumier. Here she is. This is my little sister. She is the pink to my green. Um, she's fabulous. Costume maker in design portfolio. She's done ballet stuff for the New Zealand Ballet. She's done film stuff for Weta. She's done her own shows. This was a, a queer drag show for kids called Glitter Garden, which was absolutely awesome, and I wish my little girl could have seen that. That is a custom costume for a drag king, which is fabulous. That's their own cosplay. That's her own cosplay with another friend of ours. Absolutely amazing. Um, this is an exhibit work piece done through Weta. These are like three stories tall. They're ridiculously huge statues. Um, I don't know. I, she's not available for commission work at, at the moment, but you can obviously send a thing. But she is based in New Zealand, so it's a little bit tricky for fittings, um, which is the hard part. Also, tutus don't have to be particularly custom, which is probably a good thing with that particular thing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go here and do does she have a shop? Oh yeah, shop. Where's her stuff? This is the stuff you can buy. She makes cute accessories. So these are like thread made earrings, which is really cool. Um, yeah, she's got too many jobs on at the moment for commissions. So I think she's got like three or four things on at the moment. She is a tragic overworker like myself. Oh, why is everything out of stock? Oh, she has cute little earrings. Amazing cute little sunnies. Oh, some of them are in stock. The strawberry eyes ones are in stock. Um, and then these are the cute little berets. Look at the berets. They're so cute. The Jigglypuff is in stock. I love the Jigglypuff because it's so grumpy. Look at how grumpy he is. Oh. Oh, so cute. Ah. I love that one. And like, check out the embroidery work. It's like absolutely gorgeous. This is all felt where she's like custom stitched around it. And like the thickness of the line change and stuff. It's just beautiful. Yeah, the hats are rad. And I believe um, Simone Yetch on YouTube bought one of her hats because she did a thing with Weta and then fell in love with her work. So like that's someone really cool and famous who owns one of her lemon hats. There's a lemon. Lemon! Which just looks so good on her hair. Like yellow and the orange oh my god that's called orangey glad i didn't even know oh my gosh i love my sister she's such a dork in the best way cheese louise pizza and a hunkin donut <laughs> yeah Simone, she's great Simone yet um oh strawberry strawberry shortcake of course it is victoria <laughs> you with the bad puns i love it um tiny toadstool earrings i love those they're really cute I'm really bad with wearing earrings that are fancy. Um, the mushroom one is a very popular one. She sold a whole bunch of those. Um, they're really cute. And then these are more of the fabric earrings. So again, these are like sewn. And then these are the pom pom earrings. They're just like, they're, they're cheaper and they're just freaking cute. Um, what else does she have? Scrunchies, that's right. She has like a billion scrunchies. And then in Wellington as well, she sells um, Ottomans made of offcuts of fabric. As in like, they're stuffed with offcuts, so it's really nice, sustainable, all this stuff not going to waste, which is great. Yeah, Big Help make the Mantis Shroom costume, that's right. Because um, Simone did that in... at Weta. That's how they met, I think. Yeah, that's some of the things she did. We went and saw the the... Possum Magic Ballet with my little bird, which was cool because that was her first like theater thing she ever went to. Um, so that was really cool. And yeah, heaps of stuff. Look at that CV. She amazing. Yay. So yeah, that's Gridley by Victoria. Go follow her on the socials. She does the very fun reels and things. Where are your social media links, girl? Are they in the bottom? No. Mm. Why don't you have social media links? Oh, they'll be somewhere. Contact? Yeah, there it is. Under contact. Gridley by Victoria. Go follow her. I'll make a comment for her. You would have to ask. Thank you, Common Waffle, for finding the link to the shrimp costume. 
Command to shrimp. I'm gonna put this on my to do list command for. Who else did I not have command for before? Oh, come on, Waffle. I have to check yours is working on both platforms. Command. Check. And then Ridley by Victoria. Is there anyone else I needed to make a command for? Not sure. I made one for day live. Oh, I should make one for Faust. Another artist friend. Thank you for linking. You're an amazing mod. I just keep throwing compliments at you all the time. Okay. Oh, change screen, Liz. Change screen. Whip. Back up. Um, yeah. I feel quite lucky to know so many cool creative cats, but that's also the cool friendships that we've developed over the years, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, in terms of commissions and stuff, like, if you ever want something, like, just go ask the creative people you know, because nearly everyone like is interested in commissions it's just people don't ask they just think oh that would be cool and it's like no save some money make yourself a budget and then ask and go hey this is my budget currently this is what i have how much do i need to save up to get this specific idea when are you available because if you tell an artist of any kind or a crafter that you have a budget ready to go you're happy to save up more for what you want. Tell them what you want and then ask when they're available rather than go make me this thing now buy. It's just a way easier way to get a commission going because it puts all the onus on being flexible to the artist schedule but also valuing their work and valuing what they do. That would be my tips for commissioning an artist. <laughs> you can make a tutu. I think a tutu is one of those things that she did in, um, cause she studied at a costumery theatre school called Toibakara in Wellington. I think that's what you call it. We always called it Toy for short. Um, yeah. And doing a tutu was one of the first things that they did at that school, which was cool. Um, I should tell Vic I want a suit for work that makes me look like a walrus. <laughs> and who's the carpenter? I feel the walrus. <sighs> Would you actually wear something like that at work? I thought at work you were like the professional cool guy. You know, you've got a rep now. Foolish day tomorrow. I have to do errands and housework. That's my goals for tomorrow. Oh, thank you for the link to the school. Thank you. That is toy. You're entering your goofy phase. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, yes. You have proven that you can do your job, and now you can show personality at work. That is always a good part of work when you hit that stride. That being said, you don't have to be all Hawaiian shirts goofy. You can like still be cool guy but approachable and fun. Oops. 
some of this paint I'm painting over wasn't exactly dry. And you can tell because it feels like you're pulling it like the skin on a soup. You need to just be real gentle. You have rehearsal tomorrow? You need to work on being a jerk. <laughs> How much of a jerk? Because as much as I'm really excited to see the show, I actually don't know the characters at all. Can you give me like a two, sen two sentence synopsis on what your character is like? I'm definitely coming to see this one. Is it kid appropriate? I'd assume it's not. Glasses do weird magnifying things when you see over there, over here. <laughs> yeah, the ballet flat ones do take a bit more technical knowledge, just because they have a very specific structure, that's all. Like a fluffy tutu is just like making ruffles basically, doing the fold over him and just sewing. I don't sew at all, but I do watch a lot of sewing YouTube, so <laughs> I know a little bit of stuff like that. And I'll probably still leave Little Bird at Grandma's house so that I can watch the show without worrying. But that's good to know. It's not like heinously scary or anything for my little constitution. Very stiff tool, but the layering I thought was very specific about like the lengths of it in the different layers and how they sort of fit together in the middle so the middle isn't giant and chunky. I don't know. That's where, that's where the limit of my knowledge is as a not sewing person. Your character is a villain! Yay, you're good at villains. Who represents men in a business context in the late 70s, early 80s. Oh, do you get a giant cordless phone and a really boxy suit that's way too baggy on you? Are you going to call everyone dollface or is that 250? that have that kind of guy in it that you could watch for jerky reference and I'm thinking Pretty Woman <laughs> or is that 290s? Thinnest on the bottom going up to the biggest, yeah. Specifically how men treated women at that time in their context, yeah, gross. Gross but you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. I think Ray was the one who was telling me you had good villain energy compared to a lot of actors on that scene who are just like princely types. Sorry, I know I keep itching my head, it's because I used a whole bunch of dry shampoo before I killed it. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah. Villain energy. I might have to have a five second break in a minute to go get a jump in because I'm getting cold now. I was all nice and warm from adrenaline before, but now... The coldness of winter is catching up with me. This has been a cool stream in terms of I didn't do any of my posting everywhere that I'm online. It's just whoever got notifications joined us today, so it's nice to see you all here. Thank you. Oh, you're a baritone. No, no, I know you're a baritone, but sorry, this character is a baritone for you, which is good. Yeah. It's really easier to play a villain if you commit. I appreciate that you commit fully, as opposed to a lot of other people who might not. You gotta commit to the bit. <laughs> you could look good in a tutu, that would be a very different image. 
that I imagine Lil would look like in a tutu. Lil, what would you wear your tutu? Would you just want to just play in it, or would you wear it for something specific? Oh, you actually do ballet. <laughs> well, that gives much more context. Thank you. I thought you just like tattoo, to tattoo, tattoos, tutus. <laughs> point shoes make great weapons. Yeah, they look heavy. Do you watch the the point shoe fitter lady on YouTube? I love her her TikTok reacts and all that for ballet stuff. I'm definitely a ballet appreciator, but I don't understand any of the things. There's a lot of French. Um, Involved stuff. Where am I? Smaller brush. Smaller brush. Smaller brush. Excuse me while I make all the noise. I've got like a desk drawer here that's just got paintbrushes in it. And this is only one of four or five places I see paintbrushes. <laughs> you can never have too many paintbrushes. You love her so much. <gasps> she trained the lady who does your shoes. That's so cool. <gasps> She's so cool. Is it Josephine? Is that her name? What's her name? <gasps> we have been blessed. We have been blessed. Boop. Hello, baby. Who's it again? You looking beautiful? Yeah. You gorgeous girl. She's on your chair. I'm not gonna dare remove the camera because if I move it to angle it better towards her, she's gonna run away. So. Oh, she does zooms. That's cool. That would be rad. Puppy cam. Now this is old dog cam. I have been given new cam by Quill, but I did not get time to plug it in because I was rushing to get back from the exhibition. It is just me. Yeah. You've touched that cam. That's... Yay! We found hands! The first part sounded creepy, but then you said we held hands, and then it became sweet. Yay! <laughs> then it became sweet. Boop, boop, boop. But again, yeah, don't worry about the Kofi goal on the screen, because we're going to use that money that was raised to buy treats to bribe the puppy to come sit with me. Oh, look at her, she's a tired bean. <gasps> I did manage to take her for a walk today while little one was napping, but then little one woke up. So we had to run back because I was listening to the monitor on my headphones with my audiobook while I was walking. Dippy dog. Um, I knew she woke up and I had to go to get her. Cause like, like, um, Dad was home anyway, but she was very much waking up going, I want mum at the time. Although actually dad had her pretty calmed down by the time I got back, so that was really good. I think it was just the fact because she had had such a busy morning playing with Nug. She woke up in a bit of a shock of, ah, oh, what's happened? Where am I? Big brain. Goal in for a purifier. Yeah, absolutely. That would totally work. Because you said you wanted a better pur purifier for downstairs, didn't you? Floppy puppy. You're being a floppy flop. Good girl. 
I know, I'm gonna talk to you, move your ears, and then you're just like, me. Aw, really? I talk to her too much. Wee. All right. Turn it off again. Oh, I should. Yeah, no, I would love a Purify for the studio. But that is a very big amount of the moolah. Um, if I'm looking at the Dyson one. Plus, I would actually want to see it set up somewhere to know how loud it is and stuff, because I don't want another one. <gasps> another waffle? There's two waffles in my chat. We're halfway to dessert. Where's an ice cream? Hello, Konichi Waffles. How are you? Comma Waffle is my mod. He's great. <laughs> I'm glad we're bonding over dessert names in here. Yeah. <laughs> Thingy? Where's the thingy I want? That thingy. Do that. Tap. <gasps> Kanichi Waffles, thank you for following! Yay. <laughs> you two are adorable. No, Kama Waffle is not hubby. Quite the opposite. He was my ring bearer at my wedding. <laughs> My grown man friend, ring bearer. <laughs> Definitely not hubby. Hubby is Dr. Batman. No, we were talking about purifiers on a previous stream and um, Comma Wolf was talking about how his, his wife is allergic to the puppy dog. So an air purifier helps, um, which is good. And yes, I saw the new Dyson purifiers, which work for formaldehyde, which is a spirit-based solventy thing. Um, so I thought it would be good for a studio thing to get rid of the fumes from solvents, which I use when I'm cleaning. Um, and that would just, in general, make my studio a safer space. Like, I do have a window that I can open, but in freezing cold Melbourne, of course you don't want to open that unless you're doing varnishing. Um, and things like that, and I have my open door and I have my basically all my solvents stay in nice tight jars when I'm not cleaning and then when I'm cleaning I have my behind my head there my fancy face mask which has the filters and stuff and I wear that when I'm doing um, varnishing yeah we're good Kanichi Waffles thank you so much yes absolutely you can show what, what you're working on in the discord we've got a lovely little section for that in there which is called show us your work show us your things joby put their their embroidery in there last time you're allergic to finagin zinc all adhesives and strawberries all adhesives whoa that would be a struggle what have you been working on kanichi waffles I'm sorry, I'm, I get very easily distracted, but yes, both. <laughs> I'm, I haven't got hardcore allergies, except to like a thingy. Oh, where is Discord? Sorry, I made it a, a, a thingy with a, just a D. So, it's just a D. I should have made it Discord. Come hither. There you are. Was it a fun time because of adhesives? Or strawberries? You'll just have to pick banana flavoured ice cream instead of strawberry flavoured ice cream. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just being a dick. Sorry. Uh, all good. I'm just going to subtly put this on and not talk to it. There she is. Adhesive, yeah. Adhesives are used for so many things. That's the problem. So many things. Did you find the Discord okay, Kanichi Waffles? No, bad band -aids. That's a bit sad. Yeah! Wave at you. There you is. 
there you is. What else we have to? Uh, not to here on the chin. Yeah, this brush is working, that's yeah, good. Smaller. Oh, it's like an evil castle thing. If anyone wants to jump in the Discord, look at Show Us Your Work, and that's where Kanichi Waffles has posted their drawing. Is that just graphite? Uh, Grey lead on paper? We've done some good smudgies on there. Smudgy, smudgy, smudgies. Whee! There you go. Yes, Tentacles Comma Waffle. I know you're a fan. You sent your drawing, still busy though. Yeah, fair enough, that's okay. <laughs> We're a chill studio space in here. Everyone's chill. Ooh, those reflections are cool when you go over the fact I haven't done the eyes yet. I should actually put some dark in when the eyes are. Yeah, that's I do kind of want to make the eyes a bit foggy, because that's one of the effects of death. These your eyes go all cloudy. something that'll sort of develop when we do colour I think a bit more so I'll just do the forms first. Okay, already helping. Uh, do you have a record of the painting you did to my 3DS back in the day? Oh, yes. Let's hunt for that. Um, I have a record for everything because I'm a hoarder so I hoard photos as much as I hoard things. Do you know what year I did it? Was I living in the country? What was that? Oof. Yeah, see? You're just in my memory just as much as yours. Oh, that, so 2016 was when I did the Ray painting that you have, that you bought, um, right from Star Wars. Mm. that one. Ah, I found it. Yay. Amazing. All right, let me check this in here. This is a 2015 commission that I did for you, Come Waffle. Ayy. So he gave me the face plates to his 3DS and then I primed and painted them in oil. So you got this little octopusy guy and then you got this hand with a tentacle. And they weren't really meant to connect but they kind of do but they kind of don't. So they, they're designed to be seen sort of individually. There's the octopus dude in one of my still my favorite oil colors which is Sapphire by Art Spectrum. Yeah. No worries, uh, thank you so much for coming to stream. Enjoy your Tito's and sleep. Both are good. I like how in this photo you can see where the little game card slot indent is. So that's like the texture of the painting. So it still is quite flat. Oh, color enhanced version. Whoop. Non color enhanced. Color enhanced. Yeah. There's some paint texture for you. I would probably make some different color decisions if I was going to do it again tomorrow. But other than that, I still like it. Oh, way too color enhanced that one. Ugh. I think that was the old, um, my old phone camera had this like vivid setting and I used to abuse it like crazy and I shouldn't have in hindsight. That's much better. That's natural lighting. Much better. Is that on your DS or on mine? Because it's got colored buttons. My DS doesn't have colored buttons. It would have to be on yours. Looks cool though. So satisfying when you do custom work like that and then you put it on the thing and it's just like, ugh. So cool. Anyway, yeah. Past commissions. Maybe we should have an old commission night where we all pull out old things that we've done. I have so many old random projects I've done. And I'm pretty sure none of them have it. Um, is it DNR on it? We can't talk about it. Do not release. Something. That term. I'm pretty sure all of them I would be allowed to talk about because they're all old. All the old projects. I 
other two hours. Yeah. Oh, you gave me the whole console. Well, that makes more sense. I'm glad I only painted the faceplates though, because if I painted more of the rest of it, I think it would have looked really cheesy and tacky. Like, keeping it to the faceplates made it look clean edges. Which is nice. Hmm. That's good. Alright, where am I? I'm gonna sort out this neck, but I wanna just get the eyes in. Because the neck has so much tension because she's hanging upside down, I want to get all those veins and tension lines in. So yeah, if I haven't told anyone, this is a mashup of a reference photo of an aerialist I know who was in a hoop for this reference photo, um, and a bird that died in my backyard sadly, we just found it dead under a chair. Not sure how it died, but my dog was very confused. Little dippy fluff. Oh, look at her sleeping. Little pudding. A tiny bit of one inside this scuff from use. That's fine. I could always touch that up if you want me to. Anything that you heavily wear, do heavy wear use on, is going to pretty much show wear over time, no matter how much you varnish it. Really? Unless you put it under glass. It is just a symptom of the thing. Yeah, I need to make sure not to go too light in these eye bits. Those eyes, especially the whites of the eyes, are always Surprisingly dark. Sorry if I'm leaning out of camera right now, I just need to be close because my eyes aren't that good. The glasses are more for strain than they are for focus. But also, this face is tiny. It's so little. Move the camera now that she's sleeping. I can't. If I touch it, she will wake up instantly, I guarantee. Oh, okay, maybe I can be sneaky. Let's just talk about normal things. Completely normal. Yeah, she, yeah, this is my baby girl. She stole my good chair. I say my good chair. The chair is dying. But I really like that wooden chair. This is the one that's good for my posture when I'm sitting like this. But when I'm sitting like this, it might as well be the armchair. But whatever. Whatever. Um, blah, 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 blah. Are you going to give her a cat's pupil or make her a little less human? I was, th I was thinking just cloudy. I don't think the cat or the vertical pupil is what I'm going for. It's more that sort of human but different is the idea. Hi Christina, welcome to stream, thanks for coming in. We're painting a upside down dead harpy underpainting <laughs> in monotone at the moment, sorry it's a bit weird this one. Um, but had a fun night out of art events and now we're chilling. Having a good old time painting, how are you? Yeah, I was just talking about how because this is meant to be a dead harpy, like a deceased one, I might leave the eyes a bit clouded, because um, that's a normal symptom of when people pass away, is that their eyes go quite cloudy. Mm -hmm. I just don't want them to be too bright, because if they're too bright they stand out too much, for the wrong reasons. There we go, that's a bit better. Thank you! Thank you! I'm painting with oils on um, aluminium, which I love doing. There's a few videos on my YouTube of me painting on aluminium. I've been doing it for about four or five years now. Um, yeah, and this one's destined to go to a show in America called Myth. Um, that is all works about mythology, so that's why I sort of wanted to do the harpy. I had all these different ideas, and this is the one that's just the most absolutely, oh my god, I want to paint this right now. So, excited about that. And I already sort of want to paint the second one of um, another dead harpy, but with the wings outstretched, because I just feel like the wings outstretched would just be such a different vibe to this one. 
and just like kind of lyrical, I guess. I like painting birds. And this is a lovely little marriage between my portrait work, my fantasy work, and birds. Let's just do that for now. I really need the paint to dry in the eyes before I can add too much detail so it's got more grip. The aluminium is great for nice loose underpaintings, but when you're building detail, you need that little bit of extra tooth provided by a layer of paint that's already dry. Thank you! Been working on drawing for a long time. <laughs> Isn't it funny how you're doing a harpy and that you're doing a kraken? Yeah! <laughs> is that what it is? Is a kraken eating like a lighthouse? Sort of thing, like a tower. I didn't know if it was just amorphous tentacles or like different dimension tentacles. Um, I've got a Discord, Christina, where some people post the artwork that they're doing. Um, Kanichiwa Waffle, Kanichiwa Waffle, Kanichi Waffles posted the drawing that they're working on at the moment. So you can see my Discord if I do that. I think. Yeah. You love to draw too. Yay! What sort of drawing do you do? Do you like to work um, from life or photos or any particular mediums? I like knowing what everyone's up to. It's fun. Dogs and cats. Oh, pets. Pets are the best. This is my little my little dog Dipper in the camera above me. She's an Airedale Terrier and she's having a good little snooze. Little baby. Um, yeah, I don't have a cat myself but I do have a niece cat who is this little sticker here. Let me just... Oh, no. How do I... No, you know, without moving Harold. There we are. That's Poppy. She's my niece. She's my, my sister's cat. And then Harold here, who is being our lovely little bits cover sticker, Harold the Lizard, is one of our viewers' Lil's lizards. Oh, bearded dragon, sorry. Um, yeah. What medium do you like to use for your dogs and cats? Skip this song, this is sounding like a very annoying clock. Oh, no, it's just finishing. Alright, cool. We'll do that. It's a thing with chill music, just every now and then it has one track that's a little bit not the vibe. But most of the time it's fine. I don't mind chill hop for a mood. All of our music is being provided by Chill Hop which is a wonderful copyright-free music platform. You can check out Chill Hop if you want to know about any of the tracks or who made any of the songs. Yeah. You've been drawing since you were a little girl? Me too! Me too! I think it's one of those fascinating things, art in particular, is like everyone does it when they're a kid and then people slowly talk themselves out of it as they grow up. Because anyone who's like, oh I couldn't draw a stick figure, it's like, well you used to when you were a kid, what happened? Um, but yeah, it's just one of those interesting skill sets that we all develop. You're not born with it, but we all develop it and then slowly people turn away from it and then they act like they never did and it's like no every kid draws. It's a little more natural. It probably is universal for creativity in general. I would say music is one not every kid necessarily plays an instrument or things like that but everyone sings when they're a kid whether they're good or bad. Creative writing yes everyone gives that a go when they're kids. Sport everyone gives that a go in some capacity. Um, yeah. 
there's just all these pursuits that are like universal when you're kids and then they slowly you slowly get told that no we're only professionals you have to be professional level in order to do that like art is definitely one of those things you do not need to be professional level to do it in fact the majority of people who do it are not professional level because how do you get to be professional you sit there and you do it when you're a novice and you just keep doing it I'm liking that little transition through there a lot more. That makes more sense now. Crushed by the weight of capitalism. Yeah, that's probably an articulate way of putting it. But annoyingly, because we're going to rely on those dollar dollars, of which I have not very many. In order for a creative pursuit to be worthwhile, you need to monetize it now, no matter what. Yeah. It's, it is a time factor. People can't put time into the creative pursuit if they're putting time into their capitalism ventures um, but then you can meet stubborn people like me that want to regardless and like yourself as well you like putting time and effort into things even if they don't earn you money because that's where joy is coming from and what is productivity if it does not have passion even if your passion is a side gig yeah exactly not that you know anything about trying to have a creative career yeah I'm proud of you You're doing creative things at the moment, I'm trying to get into directing. That is very cool. My problem at the moment is I'm finding lots of ways to do art, which is great, just not a lot of ways to earn money to do the art, which is why we're trying to become a Twitch affiliate. <laughs> One more little bit of passive income would be great. But all we gotta do is stream another couple of days. So yeah, if you can recommend my stream to anyone, that'd be great. Also on YouTube, we're trying to get the watch hours up so I can monetize my YouTube. Um, so if anyone wants to check out my videos at any time, that is very, very appreciated. I have a little dude. Where's my dude? This one. Please subscribe. Oh, it's behind the other thing. Oh, that didn't work. Go away. <laughs> I'm still figuring this stuff out. I'm sorry. Still figuring it out. But having a lot of fun here while I'm figuring it out. Which is good. Yay. Where am I? What screen? This screen. Yes? Yeah. Good. The happy is more happy. Hey, Arisette, you're back. We're getting into the face. I had to go down to a teeny, teeny, tiny brush. We're in, we're in tiny town now. Um, else I'm hunching over a lot like this. So yay posture. <laughs> we're not getting a posture redeem because I would not be able to live up to it. Um, no, progress is good. Oh, there you go, Christina. You've been drawing and singing. We were talking about how um, kids get to do, like kids all do all the creativity things. They do drawing, they do creative writing, they do singing, like as a form of music and all that sort of thing. But as you're an adult, you gradually get talked out of it and then you would get all these people like, oh, I can't be an artist, I can't do art, I couldn't draw a stick figure. And it's like, well, you used to. Um, yeah, and Pommel Waffle brought up the fact that capitalism is probably to blame for a lot of it. So that's where we've been <laughs> here in stream. Yes, R.O.P. Spine, as usual, but at the moment I have R.O.P. abs from going to gym on Friday. So like, the whole midsection is just broken. It's all broken. Um, but we're having fun, which is the main thing. Christina came in and she's been doing art of dogs and cats, and then Konichi Waffle was sharing what they were doing in the Discord, so that was cool. How are you doing, Arisa? Hmm. You love that topic. Yay! Hopes to open a space in the future for adults, more specifically disabled people, to come into a safe, low, over like, non-overwhelming space, yeah? To explore different creative options. Cool! So like a chill, chill creation zone. Plans for a communal co-working space for artists of all types. That's really rad. Yeah. So, um, 
Yeah, no, I've, I know a couple of co-working studio spaces and even like our, our newest local library, they've just redeveloped one of them new to me. They've got all of these sort of like office studio rooms where you can just hire one for the day and go in and just do stuff. Um, and they said that was open to artists as well. So I'm like, that's really, really, really cool. I mean, I'm very lucky in my house to have this tiny little bedroom where I can make my art. <laughs> Also, Arizona, the puppy gift. The puppy is here. Hello, puppy. This is Dipper, my puppy. That one. It's in. It's in one of the big Westfield shopping centres. Um, there's a library in there. So if you just Google search Westfield Library, you'll find it. Um, it's a new one in the eastern suburbs. Low overwhelm, because what's overwhelming to some isn't to others. Oh, that's a good point. Low stimulation? Low stimulus? I think it was just, I read the word low and then I read the word overwhelming and I'm like, overwhelming is the opposite and my brain broke between the two words because my brain's tired, but that's okay. I'm still having fun. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I have so many videos on my YouTube channel, but just not super, super recent ones. Oh no, I did do a recent one recently on, recent one recently, but there's a side of my brain. Not that one. Um, go further south than that one. I'm trying not to give away exactly where I live, um, but yeah, go further south than that one and you'll hit it. Realm? I actually don't know if they hire rooms. They may as well. Yeah. You're eligible for affiliate, yet yeah, you have zero viewers. Is that a problem? If you're eligible, you can just do it, yeah? Yeah? I just need a couple more streaming days and then we'll be there because amazing people keep following and I'm so thankful, <gasps> which is lovely. But we need the seven streaming days and we haven't got that yet. Um. Thanks, Arzat. It's mainly because like, I know these videos will live on in Vodland in YouTube and I got told by a couple of much more YouTube savvy and experienced people not to be too specific just in case. You need an average of three viewers per stream. Have you played with at what times you're streaming? This is this is my fourth since I've come back. So I used to stream on YouTube a whole bunch um, before I went and got pregnant and had a baby. And that was my thing was finding the time when the majority of my people were online. Um, Cause yeah, I tried to stream at a few other times to like entice different viewers from different countries and it just didn't work. It didn't work. I had to stick with my local people first. Can I draw a house? I'm not very good at architecture. I find architecture really difficult to paint in a way that doesn't look cartoony. Um, I'm sure there's YouTube tutorials from people who really know what they're doing with oil painting houses and things, but yeah, it's not particularly my area, sadly. I like organic things like people and clouds and Nature and animals and all that stuff. That's much more my jam. Your art style is cartoon Kanichi Waffles? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's where it's a lot more. Your style seems to have a lot of line and then shading. Mine's the opposite. Mine starts as blocks and chunks. Like here you can see in the chin how I've done like little chunks my camera frozen? <laughs> camera, what are you doing? Give me one sec. Yeah, my hand's up there and you can't see my hand. What are you doing, camera? Let's figure you out. Oh, it's gone. I'll just be a moment. All good on this end? Then why was it working for me? That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse my back. <laughs> Did it just time out or something? I didn't think it had a time out.
Yeah, the art camera, sorry, not my face. You can draw houses, Christina? That's awesome! It's definitely, a, it's a full skill set, doing architecture and things. Whoa, that's not the view we want. Zoom in! Ah. That's better. Yay! We fixed it. I don't think it overheated, it doesn't feel warm. Oh, it feels a little bit warm. Maybe? It's not excessively warm in here though, like I'm wearing a tank top, even though it's like less than 10 degrees outside. Celsius. Yeah, it's 10 degrees outside. Ick. Cold. Might turn it into a lighthouse. Well, that one makes sense with the Kraken. When you say Konnichiwa about the, um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. About it being a Kraken. I'm like, a Kraken needs to come from a watery environment, doesn't it? It's cold and you love it. <laughs> I love it when I'm in a hoodie. But I was wearing, like, my fancy satiny top before, so I'm like, I'm going to take that off and put on a tank top so I can paint. Because I didn't want to get paint on my fancy satiny top. Um that I wear to art openings when I'm like, yes, I'm going to be a professional artist tonight and be fancy. Add water later? Yeah, that's a good idea. There are some great reference images of lighthouses being like overwhelmed by waves and waves and tentacles share many common shapes, <laughs> which is helpful. Yeah, Konnichiwa, well, I saw your comment about doing realistic art, you do the line work, then do shading. I'm definitely opposite, I do chunks. And then I sort of hint at lines, so like this line here, it isn't so much as a line as it's a gradient to a dark point, and then it's immediately gradient to a light point. This is the point where the boob chest turns into arm, and I've just got to integrate with that with feathers a little bit, so it sort of has that definition. Example. Mm. You turned one of your oldest home hoodies into a smock, so now you don't get cold. That's smart. Pink fluffy one. Wouldn't fluffy get stuck in your painting though? I have so many issues with fluff getting stuck in all my stuff. It's mostly puppy related. Oh, she left. No. And she's low shed. Like she's a low shedding dog. You do crafts too, Christina. That's cool. We were talking about craft earlier, my sister's a big crafters. I do a little bit here and there. But... Oh, she's moved to her other bed, I can hear her fluffing it up. Fair enough. Ditch me for your other bed. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn the camera off then. Pow. You're learning how painters create versus illustrators. Painters go in with the values. That's what I'm doing! This is my values! I've got five blobs of paint, I've got my darkest value up to white, and then I'm doing the whole painting in just values at the moment, and then I'll be doing colour glazes over the top. Um, but yes, illustrators do tend to use lines more. For sure. You have a high shedding dog? <gasps> and you never get hair in your art? How? Do you live in different houses? How does- how? Is it that like really heavy coarse hair that just sort of falls straight on the floor and doesn't stay in the air? Because Dipper's definitely that sort of soft, fluffy, float-in-the-air type of hair, which is a pain. Pain for it being in paintings, specifically. The amount of times I'm photographing my artwork when it's finished and I'm just sitting there trying to pull a hair out of it, and I'm just like, eh. You never notice it until you get to that point of, like, varnishing and final photographs, which is really annoying. RIP my back. Ugh. Too correct. <laughs> you don't have a high shedding dog, you have a high shedding cat with an attitude. That's actually a dog. Look at Komawafa's little emote, that's his little Shiba Inu named Indiana Bones. He's so cute. Oh, it's not fluffy enough to drift off into the paint. That's your robe, yeah. You get more of your own hair in your art? Oh, well, I definitely avoid that because my hair is so long, I would see it a mile away. So that's helpful. Although it's funny, my little bird, my little two-year-old, 
she'll pick up one of my hairs and be like, mummy hair, mummy hair. And she'll like carry it over to me to put it in the bin. And I'm just like, girl, if you try and do that every time you find one of my hairs, I'm going to be here forever. Um, <laughs> like I do vacuum. It's just long green hair is very identifiable. And if I brush my hair, then it gets everywhere. Which I do brush my hair at least once a day-ish. Although not all the time, most of the time I do the mum bun. The mum messy bun. But tonight I curled my hair, so it feels nice to have wavy curly hair. Because I did that for the art You got a German Shepherd! Yeah, okay. That is a very overdramatic fluff. And it's a double coat fluff, which is a whole different ballgame. My sister-in-law has a, a double coat um, husky shepherd mix and oh, the fluff. Likes to chew on a nipple ball. Is it deflated or is it still like a full ball? Dipper likes tennis balls, but she's pretty good. She only likes to try and like hold it between her paws and pull the fluff off. She doesn't actually destroy them, destroy them. Most of the time. I'm gonna spend a lot of time on this painting just painting the face because it's upside down and has pressure in it this face has so many colors so many shifts in color might even be one of those things I'll have to flip it over halfway through and paint it right side up just to see if I'm getting it all in the right spot I guarantee you it looks okay now and then I'll flip it and it'll look so many kinds of wrong and I'll flip it once it's dry. We'll have a look at that once it's dry. Yeah. It's a full ball which she forces to be a bit deflated. Fair enough. Oh, I'm sure she can buy very hard. There's a reason German Shepherds are used as police dogs. They're so cute though. I love their ears. I'm a big dog person. Dogs are always good. Also, if you want to post a picture of your puppy in my Discord, you are more than welcome because there is an area for studio assistance. <laughs> and then we can all see the puppy. Yeah. Oh, I love that part of the of the Discord. It's so good. <laughs> The German dog that they tried to make with triangles but ran out after the face. <laughs> I like that description. That's really cute. <laughs> That's really cute. That's adorable. to be specific enough that I know where I'm going but part of me is just like make it as good as a finished piece right now right now and that's not particularly helpful cool Christina it sounds like you draw a bit of everything that's great I definitely was someone who went through phases when I was an early drawer. I'd go through phases of all I am going to draw is horses, and now all I'm going to draw is dogs, and now all I'm going to draw is like little items in my room, and like I'd just go through phases. And then when I hit the people phase, when I was about 14, I'm still in the people phase. <laughs> I have not got out of the people phase. I think the people phase is just life now. Occasionally draw other things like 
harpy people. But it always comes back to the figure. I think just because in general I like drawing human things, human emotions, human stories, human characters. Because that feels authentic. Oh, she's starting to look like face. A little bit. Gotta get some lips in. But we're getting there. And then I've just got to do the feet, and then that's the underpainting done. Which will be cool. Maybe I will stay up and finish this. It's 12.30. How much can I get done in half an hour? Now that we're, now that we're more focused than we were earlier, and less distracting. That's the thing, the first hour of stream is just catching up with people and being pure distracted. The second hour I get into painting and then after that it's just paint zone. So I'm going to have to remember this flow pattern when I plan my streams. Oh, we've got a comma waffle puppy in, in Discord. Oh, look at him, he's so beautiful. Let me put him over on the screeny screen. Look at this boy. That's Indiana Bones. At his parents' wedding, being a smart boy. He's so beautiful. I painted a picture of him too. You have a few pieces of mine, don't you, Come Waffle? You've got one of him, the one of Ray. Oh, where would that be? That would be in my pet portraits, pet commissions. It was him when he was a baby though, so he looked younger in my painting. There he is! Isn't he a cutie? So that one's also done on aluminium, that one's oil paint on aluminium. Um, of Indiana Bones! Me trying to find a bit of natural light that actually shows the colours. Because, like, anytime I paint a white or a black animal, I like to do it 80% in colour. Um, and by colour, I mean, like, in blues, in purples, in all things like that. And then later, I just sort of keep adding darker and darker values, and it just starts to look authentic, which is great. What is my favorite? This is one of my earliest ones. This is Mr. Angus. This is Angus. He's a West Highland Terrier, so he's white. And see, again, this one, he's all like purples and yellows and blues, and then I've just put white over the top, and it's all mixed together. And they could do impression of white dog but actually it's so full of colour. I miss Angus so much, he passed away a few years ago. He was beautiful. He was a real, he was a playful little wombat and that's what got me and my husband into terriers in general. They just want to play all the time, even though they're old men who are arthritic, they still want to play. Um, so the terrier personality really got us. It was mostly the fact that West Island terriers are such tiny little white dogs and my husband wanted a dog that he could like, hug. A big dog that he could hug. So Dipper is one of the biggest terriers um, in the Airedale Terrier. American Airedale Terriers can be a lot bigger. They've bred a bigger version. And then there's another bigger one called the Black... the... what is it? The Black Russian Terrier. Um, but luckily on the Black Russian Terrier website it says not for first-time owners which my husband was a first-time owner and they are quite intense dogs and the training has to be quite intense for them because they are ginormous and they were bred for the Russian military so yeah no that was not the dog we were looking for um, but yeah so that's pick missions I've done I like doing pick missions in the moment but I'm really bad at keeping momentum with them, so I do not open for pet commissions very often. I wish I was better at it, because honestly I pr probably could make a career of just that if I committed to it. Yeah, thank you. Um, but I think the people who do do pet commissions are nothing but pet commissions are great, because I just don't have the stamina mentally. I have the ability in my hands, but I don't have the mental stamina just keep up with it and that's why I end up keep going back to my portraits every time. I just like people. That's what gets my adrenaline, gets my dopamine. She's 
We've only got one lip at the moment, so that's why we've got a bit of a funny facial expression, but we'll get there. It's <laughs> the funny thing when you're doing faces, is like every tiny mark will change the expression on the face. You can get some real derpy faces before you get to your finished face. covered all the middle in the face. We've got like one little hole up here in the hair, which when I sweep my hand like that, you can see it sort of flick on, flick off. See your assistant? Did you post it in Discord? Waffles, they're beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this face. Oh, such a long snoot. They're beautiful. It's a DP. <gasps> when did I get a sponsorship with Listerine? Oh, Listerine. I get it. I get it. I get it. And slow. Hi. 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 Thank you. Yes. Do you want to see the thing again? I'm going to show the thing again. Did it. This is what I won tonight at the art show I was in. Highly commended. Yeah. How are you, DB? Is the baby asleep? <laughs> Just looking at, at followers' pets who are beautiful. Beautiful. This is Konichi Waffles' pupper. Thank you. A harpy's looking like a harpy. Yeah. You saw it, yes, but you want to see more pets? Oh, I could just scroll through the Discord, but then we wouldn't be very productive, would we? I'm actually getting somewhere with this, so I'm going to push push through, but yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. You reminded me that you had a couple of combinations for photography of your own. <gasps> Yay! That's awesome, DB! That's so cool. Who does Photographer of the Year? That should definitely be on your CV and your like DB list of awesomeness. Oh, my phone's dying. That's normal. It was pretty neat. It was something Australian photographer magazine. That's so cool! DB! That's rad. So this is where I really appreciate a standard part of being a visual artist is keeping that public CV of the things that you've done because then I don't forget the things because I have to write them. Which, speaking of, that's something I'll put on my reminder list. Update website with highly commended. Yeah, that's on my to-do list. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you sure did forget all about that, yeah. See, that's why you need a little page on a website about DB's cool things that anyone can go look at and be all like, here are the receipts of why, oh well, not why DB is cool, but things DB has done. Sometimes I say DB too fast and it sounds like a verb. To DB or not to be DB. Blech. Words. <laughs> I am slowly running out of words, but it is 12.40 here in the morning, so that's my fault. For staying up late and for doing all the talky talks today. I am enjoying stream as a way to wind down after the exhibition though, because I was on such a high when I came home. And this has been lovely hanging out with you all, talking art things tonight. I enjoy it. I'm not ready to finish yet. I've still got some feet to do. But I'm just having fun. Hmm? 
Yes, I would love to see what you got highly commended for. There's a show us your work part on my Discord. You want to jump in there? Discord link. You got a commended and a highly commended. <gasps> There's a show us your bit work bit under the main channels, I think. No, under show us your stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. I've made that many channels in there. Probably too many, but whatever. Yeah. Gotta find it. Okay, you load that up and then I'll I'll put it on screen when you say you're ready. are definitely a bit wiggly on this but they're mostly there and I think that's enough for an unpainting. This is hard because the top lip is very similar in value to the skin but it's a different facet so I need it to different -y enough but the same enough which is tricky and the color will help to know that a lot more than the value will because the value is what the value is so it's pretty much just going to be similar for now definitely need to look at this when it's right side up when it's dry Or if I haven't got a rat, I'm just gonna leave it really soft so it's easy to fix. Yeah. What sort of photography work were you doing, DB? I thought you were working in IT. Or was this on the top? Ooh. Is that the actual glacier? Whoa. Let's jump over here. This is one of DB's photos. Which one was this one? This was the highly commended. That's stunning. That looks like friggin' CG. That was in New Zealand. <gasps> That's so cool. I want to lick it. That ice is so pristine and beautiful. What was the rope? Were you attached to that? Right? Mac Mac with the skull facts. Welcome in. How you doing? Lucky at the Danger Beards. Highly commended photography. It is a highly commended theme because I got a thing at the outro tonight. Yeah. You had to pull yourselves through that hole by the rope. Oh my gosh. But it looks so pristine and beautiful. You wouldn't imagine you'd have to put like physical exertion in to get through there. You almost got stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's a glacier. That hole is dug. How is it so smooth? Is that just the, the water moving in and out with the tide or something? How does it look so smooth and beautiful? That's so cool. Whoa. Where's your other one? You said you got a highly commended and a commended. Something something melting. I don't know. <laughs> We're the scientists in the chat. How do glaciers work? How are they so pretty? Um, that's really cool. I'll switch to this for a minute. But tell me if you post your other bit. The other one you got up was a series of four. That's cool. Hello, excuse me, science. <laughs> well, this is what my older sister is normally here for. She's the science teacher. She's the secondary school science, maths, and um, game design teacher. Which, if you ever make it over to Melbourne PAX, she does stuff here at PAX. Come, 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 come. Maybe not this year, maybe next year. When this little bean is a bit older. Family holiday. 
What happened to Chad? Oh, Chad is there. Good. It's so annoying every time I change windows, the chat just disappears, but apologies for that. Just above the lip. Definitely not this year. The inverse of Pinocchio is a tree made of human flesh. Hmm. Let me just consider that for a minute. Pinocchio is a tree turned into a wooden boy. So if you're going the opposite, yeah, you're going pre-processing. But then made of human flesh. Would that just be a body? What makes it a tree rather than a body? Just more appendages. the inverse of a boy made of wood is a tree made of boy. Okay, fair enough. Well, if you're going just from then, then would it, it rather than leaves, it has hair coming from the branches. Coming at, coming at stream with the facts. <laughs> the hypothetical philosophical facts. Because if it's made of boy, then you need the other parts. You need hair, fingernails. Would the fingernails be on the branches or would they be underneath as part of the root system? You'd rather say than leaves, it has ears. Why just ears? All the bits. <laughs> Although I suppose the eyes would be in the trunk, wouldn't they? Because like you have an eye, like a knot in the wood. Yeah. Would it have mouths? Rather than branches, arms and fingers. Yeah, appendages. Yeah. Well, in that case, then, would you have fingernails that come out long and stringy? Because no one's sitting there trimming. Unless it's a pruned tree. Like, is it a pruned garden variety tree boy? Or is it a... We're getting very philosophical here. I should be painting. Would the hair be bark? Ooh. You reckon? They're the part of the body that looks most like ears. Yeah, but ears have a, a, a tube attached to them that goes in. And that feels more like a root system thing. Suck up the water. We've gone off on a big tangent here, but I'm okay with it. Bark hair? Bark hair. That sounds like a band. Bark hair. Less of that. up to tange. Did you mean to abbreviate or is tange the new verb? I need to be up with the young kid lingo. <laughs> this is a place to tange. Are we capable of the tange? I mentioned before how good paintbrushes are at itching that one little part on your head. Oh! Ah, camera. Maybe it is overheating. Alright, we'll give it a minute. Just to calm. We'll drink some water. The fruits of the flesh tree would be penises. <gasps> That's dark. A 
they could just be um, cysts. Because like bodies grow cysts all the time. And they're just fleshy bags of basically cells. And those cysts could contain many small reproductive either sperm or eggs. And that's what you then plant in the earth to make another flesh boy tree. Because it's a, a boy tree, I feel like it would be sperm inside the cysts. Hey, look back with the cell facts. You came in here with this. <laughs> you came in here with this. You didn't know what was going to come from group discussion. But yes, no, I am down to tange for weird stuff like that. As long as it's stream appropriate enough. I feel like this is twisted without being obscene. So that's cool. Alright, let's try this out camera again. And if it dies again, we might just call it there. So, last try. Let's go this one. Oh, no, no, I've done the thing. That's right. Shush you. Ah. Getting them wearing boots until they stand up. Are you with us? Or against us? Really, why women have placentas so the immune system doesn't attack the baby. Where did we go? Babies are literally tumors for a while. Yeah, pretty much. But with two lots of genetic material instead of one. Two. Yay, Biofax! See, science sister would appreciate that. My science sister. Alright, this face is pretty much almost there, which is great. I'm just going to quickly integrate the hair into the hairline. So I just like to have wet paint of both the dark and the light when doing this bit. So they can sort of become friends. Rather than being a harsh line. It's Ree! Ree, what are you still doing awake? Did you just get home? Gosh, that's a late night. Conversation has gone weird here, but we've had a lot of fun. <laughs> you put the other photos up, do you? Okay, cool. Hello, Waffle says hi, Ree. Are we just going to quickly check out DB's been posting some of his photography that got cool commendations? So we had a look at the highly commended one, so let me jump over to that quickly first. This is a photo of a glacier, how freaking stunning. Oh, you went out for drinks! Yay! Yay drinks. How's Rhiannon? Did you two have fun? Yeah! So that was the highly commended one, and then these are the commended, so it was a group of four. Oh wow. Years ago, and I don't remember which ones I ended up using. Okay. Gosh, look at the colours in that. That'd make a good painting. Not saying it's not an amazing photograph. See, this is the hard thing. As a painter, I immediately go, painting! But actually, it's it's perfectly legit art as it is. Oh, such a mood. That's really pretty. Where are these ones taken, did you say? That's beautiful as well. Gosh, that makes me want to go swimming. The surf. Yeah, where's this one from, DB? <laughs> you two yelling at each other, be nice. I will mod my mod if I have to. Actually, I think DB's a mod, DB can tell you off. 
You're in bed like a civilized person. <laughs> nice. These are at Bondi, the Sculpture of the Sea exhibition. That's cool! What, you want me to paint for one of your photos? I don't think I could do the glacial one justice at all, but I'd, I'd have a go at the ocean picture, the one before, as a mini painting, so it wouldn't have as much detail, but like, if I could capture the vibes, that'd be a good vibey one. I feel like if I answer that question, McMac with the skull facts, I'm leading myself in for a punny joke. That sounds like a punny joke start. <laughs> So it's just after you got your new camera too. <gasps> well, you definitely accomplished a lot with it. Well done. Well done. Highly commended and commended claps. I don't know if I'm authorized to give them now. <laughs> For a short period of time. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, I've won stuff before, but tonight was just a rad. Rad mood. And a real pick me up, which is lovely. Right. Yeah, Ria did. I actually got husband to start the stream because I was running 10 minutes late to get home to start streaming at 10. So I literally called him and got him to start the stream. <laughs> and write a message to say I was on my way. <laughs> yeah. I was lucky there was no traffic on the way home or roadworks, because <laughs> otherwise I would have taken a lot longer. But this is it, I'm trying to get that affiliate thing. So this is stream four of seven. I've got, what, three more to go? Are we saying? And this was one of the times I could fit it in, so I'm like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, do you, are you a casual for Vaz? I thought you just did the paint and sips, I didn't realise you do, like, work work for them. That's cool. Thank you. Trying to be dedicated. <laughs> or at least, trying to fit streaming in when I can, and now that I've got momentum, I don't want to lose it. You know that ADHD thing? I when you have momentum, treasure the momentum. The momentum is so good. I wish I could bottle and sell the momentum. I would make a killing. Oh, I can hear Puppy dreaming in the other room. She's making little squeaky books. She probably must be in the dark. Sometimes she gets enough to light the lights on for too much. momentum thing. I feel like you get that with your music. Normally whenever you post like new music you're immediately like and I'm working on two other things and it's awesome and I'm like yeah. Yeah. Oh you're a boom bro. <laughs> I'll help out when needed bro. Cool that's awesome. Don't stop if you stop you die. No don't say that. Then then it's out of fear rather than out of passion. I want it to be driven by passion. <laughs> if it's driven by fear then I go get sads. They do bottle and sell momentum? Do they? Ignore the boom. <laughs> no, you called yourself a boom brewery. You gotta live with that label now. <laughs> Pretty sure it's called Adderall. <laughs> um, no, mine's called Vivans. Thank you very much. Uh, Tartars. I bought them because... Oh, it was about their mythology and they're a funny character called Shirai, which is a multi-limbed horned ogre ah, that wanders the woods looking for lost children to tickle to death. That does sound vaguely familiar. I'm wondering if a fantasy book or something I've read has referenced them. But that's cool. That's not what I was expecting you to say. I'm gonna look that I'm gonna note that down on my to look up after stream list. I definitely feel like I've heard of that. I've like skim read a couple of books like um, Mythos by Stephen Fry with Greek mythology and things like that. I'm wondering if it was in there. Oh, Ree, sorry. So 
This scary painting is a dead harpy for a show called Myth that I'm part of, a group show. Um, so you could do anything to do with mythology. And I was gonna do like a screaming harpy, but then I remembered I had this reference photo of a dead bird that we found in my backyard. Um, I say we because my dog told me about it because she was just like, Mom, I have a concern. I have a concern. Please come outside. And I went outside and then there was a dead bird. So of course, being the artist I am, I took reference photos before I, I got rid of it. Um, yeah, no idea how it died. Don't think Dipper did it because she was too confused at the time. But um, could have been natural causes, not sure. Um, yeah, so I liked the idea of this sort of the moment after the passionate scream that the harpy's deceased and just sort of staring out at the viewer but with like clouded eyes. And because this gallery does a lot of like really fantastical, su surrealistic, non realistic work, um, I'm pushing the envelope a little bit on my normal style. So, yeah, this is quite fun. <laughs> um, yeah. DB, not passionate fear. No, that makes the fear sound even worse. Passionate fear is even scarier sounding. Passionate passion. No, that sounds too much like a dirty, dirty book for mums, which I guess is me now. Um, the gallery really is called Modern Eden. It's in San Francisco. It's, it's one of two galleries I've shown with in America, and this is my third time in their portrait show. They have a portrait show annually, which is an open call, so other people can apply for it, which is awesome. But this time I was invited, so I feel very fancy. Um, the other two times I've just responded to the open call, so keep them on your bookmark list. Modern Eden Gallery. Um, yeah, they're awesome. If you're not following them already on Instagram, yes, I mail my piece over. So I have very strict timings that I have to adhere to. Um, yeah, I sadly have not made it to the actual gallery because traveling to America is expensive, but I would love to go one day and actually go see the actual gallery. That would be really cool. Yeah. The facial expression looks tired and mildly annoyed. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe at the moment. Because she's hanging upside down, she's holding a lot of tension in her face. Um, I think once I get the color in there, it'll make more sense because like all the values in the lips are pretty much the same but in color you can tell the difference between where the teeth is versus the top lip versus the bottom lip um yeah so hopefully that helps you choose to believe they were killed but weren't too too bothered <laughs> oh here i go getting killed what a hassle i think i want her to look more judgy than that because she looks more judgy in the reference photo really like dude what the hell which is a bit more the vibe in terms of, dude, what the hell, you wrote these horrible creatures to be female characters. To demonize women having emotions. How very dare. Um, talking to you, Ovid. But, yeah. I think that's more the vibe I'm going for, so we'll work on that expression. That'll be something that we'll have to develop a bit more. Sometimes after a particularly long and annoying work shift, I feel the same way about my own death. <laughs> right. Oh, that modern day apathy, hey? Uh. Yeah. Oh, that's okay, Rhi. No, I'm happy to say modern Eden because I'm, I'm publicly associated with the show, so that's fine. It's a, it's a public thing. Um, and the fact that this is the show where they do the public call-out means that anyone can enter. So anyone from stream, if they're interested in entering, they can. I don't know if the public call's still on. Let me... Um, Let's have a look-see. They've got one of my pieces still from last year at the moment. So if anyone wants to buy my piece from last week, that is currently available. Not 
Yeah. Submission's closed. Oh, I'm sorry. We've just missed it for this year. But it'll be on again next year, same time. So have a look from like March um, at Bonding Gallery and their open show, which is their portrait show, will be on again. It'll be number 13 next year, which would be cool. Um, so I've been in 10 and 11, and then this is 12. stop noodling on this face let's bust out some feet and then the underpainting will be done oh the ear I forgot the ear let me just slap that in after I fiddle with this chin a little bit more and then ear, 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 ear. Ear. bust out some feet yeah pretty much <laughs> Pretty much. I don't have to be too specific with the uh, we'll fiddle with that, with that later. Twitch allows tasteful nudity now. Well, I'm uh, streaming to YouTube and Twitch, so I'm being very cautious. This particular VOD of today, they have shown a number of times, so I'm not sure if today's is valid as usual. Also, these are fantastical boobies, so I don't know if they count the same as normal human ones. So let's move the camera again and just whip. We can get up to the feet. And over here. No, wrong way. That way. Yeah, see? Like that. Harold, you're not doing a very good job. Come back. Um, plus, I like the idea of making random stickers of my friend's pets to cover things. So, you know, not the end of the world that Harold's here. Or actually, we can switch out Harold for Dipper if we want. Yep. Yeah. Here's Dipper. Boop! <laughs> Alright, let's bust out some feet. And then we'll be done. Um, for the underpainting. Oh, that looks so... It looks so much more complete now. So this is the good thing about looking at um, a screen or a live stream... Uh, Twitch and things like that is that I can immediately get the effect of standing really far back from my work. I'm immediately seeing it in a different plane at a different scale and because now I can look at it really small, it looks nice and complete. Focus there please, camera. Good. Can you focus here? Like that last you too? Good. That's that. Alright, foot. This foot. Let's lock it in a bit. And we'll go into that detail. You can see here if I waft my hand over, there's quite a bit of metal exposed. Exposed? Exposed. Right on there. The whole American approach to what's appropriate is weird. You can stream a game with realistic beheadings and disembowelings, but God forbid you show a nipple. Oh, 100%. 100%. It makes no sense. I don't understand why nipples are offensive. Everyone has them, they're functional. Or not functional. Doesn't matter. They're just an aesthetic part of having the skin. Um, I find the nipple thing silly. Like, if you want to say, you know, no genitals, that's, I think, a different conversation to nipples, personally. Simply because genitals have different functions. But I personally do not class nipples as genitals. In that way. And I've got some really nice sharp claws up here, so I'll make sure I keep 
preserve my really bright lights for that. Wash some bottles. You can do it, DB. Amazing dad powers. Ignite. Engage. All the things. Seriously. Oh, oh my phone died. All right, phone is dead. That happens when my charging cable is being used for the camera. I got asked by someone who's about to be a dad the other day, what can I do to help? You know, if pumping doesn't work out, I can't feed the baby or stuff. And I'm like, dude, you can wash everything. There was so much washing clothes, bottles, like towels, just everything. There's so much washing to be done when you have a new baby. If dad can help out with that, do you know how amazing that is for mum? Or like partner A can help out with that while partner B is doing stuff like, Ugh. What a gift. And even if you've got friends who have babies and you go over and visit them, just start washing things. Just walk in their house and start washing things. Don't let them say anything. Just be all like, nope, sorry, I'm doing this with my hands. Oh, you're sitting over there with a baby? Poor you. I'm doing this with my hands. Deal with it. You like how avian she is? Yay! I'm so glad. No, I definitely didn't want her to be construed for a angel. Because I know that's a big thing if you just put wings on a person. Um, I really wanted her to be... At first I was just going to do a face on a bird, but then I sort of wanted the chest because of the fact that this is an aerialist hanging upside down. You get the effect of gravity on the chest and that's what it really, really cool um, here. So yeah, I thought having just that little bit more flesh just helped the illusion be less of a face copy pasted on top of a bird and it just integrated a little bit more by letting the chest sort of come all the way down to here um, but thank you I really appreciate that comment um, that's really validating because that's the thing with fantastical comments is you, you hope they read but like you really don't know until you've done it whether it's working or not and sometimes it doesn't I have definitely painted some weird ones I painted a Medusa once of my sister but she had like computer cables instead of snakes for her and that painting did not it was not a good painting <laughs> not a good painting at all it was an attempt it was a fail um, uncanny and monstrous in a good way <gasps> I love that and vulnerable and tragic oh I love that oh yes please yes all of that all of that thank you I think that's why I still would like to try one with the wings more outstretched or like fanning out a little bit to really bring the vulnerable and tragic a bit more to it but again keep the keep the heavy claws and sort of messy fur messy feathers um, as a feature I don't even know what kind of bird this is I should really look that up what kind of bird it was a very common bird like I've seen them around a heap wasn't one of the like super Australian iconic ones um, but it's definitely a common one at least in this area oh hello oh thank you for following <laughs> It's really fun having you talk about this sort of stuff on stream. This is really nice. Thank you. I think a lot, large part of my, like, describing myself as an emotive artist who works with hyper-emotion, things like that, I like working in that conflicting, contradicting place where things are complicated and they're messy and they're hard to describe with words and that's where I like to use pictures and colour and, yeah, I do a lot of that. Um, I don't know, it's a place where I find it very interesting to look at pictures that make me feel that way, that make me have that confliction. Like, I did so much work in uni on the Uncanny Valley, things that are both alluring and human, but also not human and thus creepy. Um, and that was where a lot of my sort of art theory I learned a lot about. And as much as I haven't sort of 
stuck with it per se in that really just uncanny valley for the sake of uncanny valley experience of making something that is human but not quite. Um, I've definitely gone more fantastical and sort of in a different direction with my paintwork. It's it's still very interesting theory. I'm still very always interested in that sort of theories. That's why AI is so fun at the moment because we're having a lot of uncanny valley moments as a culture um, with the idea of mostly like the more chat GPT ones, less the image generation because the image generation isn't really being created from nothing, it's being created from medians of ex pre-existing imagery. Um, so that's not really the same thing, but the chat GPT stuff, it's imitating that it's come from nothing in a very convincing way. Um, and yeah, we're getting to a point where it will be generated basically by itself, off itself, off its own generations. Yeah, it's, it's human without being human, which is a kind of creepy place, but interesting. Who else is here? Someone else is here. Whiskey Lord! My dipper is over the top of the notifications. Minsky Lord! Hello! Welcome to stream! Hi! We are painting a dead harpy. How are you doing? She's getting there. Do, 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 do. So once this layer is dry, what I'm going to try and do is clean up this background to see if I could leave it pristine silver. And if I can't, I'll try and do other things. Hi, I'm a new follower. Hi. And what do you think would be the best way to improve brush control? Oh, it depends what you're doing. It depends what you're doing. In terms of brush control in general, my general rule is the longer the fibers on your brush, the less control you have. So if you want to experiment with different brush shapes and brush lengths, particularly like the length in the fibers, um, you might find some give you more control than others. And for me, the shorter the tip, the more control. I really like using angle brushes like uh, this guy. Oh, my camera's died again. Ugh, how rude. One sec. Like this dude. See how he's like a short little wedge? I have this little brush that I'm using at the moment is like a teeny tiny version of him. And the main reason I like using this one as opposed to a long skinny round brush is that a long skinny round brush doesn't have as much push of the paint and it has less control. Um, yeah, so if it is long and skinny and sort of flip flops around, it's much harder to do this sort of tiny little fiddly work. Um, but this one being shorter, it actually gives me more. Battery exhausted. Why are you battery? You should have been charging this whole time. Oh! You rude camera. We got so close, guys. We got so close. Alright. That's a pain. So the camera for the board is dead. <sighs> what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? If you give me one sec, I'm going to quickly whiz the webcam around and we'll just finish these feet with the face cam. So you're going to lose my face. So say bye bye to my face. Underneath all the other stuff. Go down there. 
Hey. Oh no, you got two of them. <laughs> uh, where's the, that one? No? How did I end up with this many things? There we go. Cool. That'll do for now. Cool. I'll just finish off the feet. Oh, we should put our dipper sticker back on. Doop. That was almost in the right spot too. Sweet. Alright, cool. Silly camera. Thanks for the good question, Minsky Lord. What sort of painting do you do to be worried about brush control? Tell me more. Wobble hands, wobble wobble. One of my favourite sculptors is of a Neanderthal joyously. I guess you need sculptures. A Neanderthal smi joyfully smiling. And there's something about a long extinct cousin. So often Mishbrush there for that. Yes, they are often given just the worst expressions. And you think even if other apes have amazing expressions, why would they not? Zurich, hello! Welcome to YouTube, how are you? I apologise, I've had to turn off, I'm still sitting here making faces at the camera that's not there. I've had to turn off my face cam because we're using it just to finish off the feet of this underpainting because my main camera battery died, which is a bit sad. How are you? How's things? I'm painting a little dead harpy for a show about myth. Having a lot of fun doing it on stream. <laughs> and that is part of the Uncanny Valley thing as well, when when we sort of visualize things that are similar to human but different. And we sort of import those sort of funny expressions of things. Yes, I know Sirik is Nephlin. You're the one who keeps using different logins. But I remembered this time, I'm proud of me for remembering, so ha 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 ha. Maybe I just need to say, Sirik, I know you're tall. <laughs> I'm sorry, I doxed you to everyone that you're tall. How dare I? Hmm. <laughs> I keep making faces to where the camera used to be. Ah, how did I get used to that so quick? to finish one painting. Completely depends on what it is, Minsky Lord. I last year spent two and a half months on one of the biggest pieces I've ever done. And then the piece that won the Highly Commended tonight was a, what was it? Less than nine hours piece. So that was three sessions at Life Drawing, but one session I only got a bit of the session. Um, from what I could tell of my reel we were watching earlier from my YouTube, Instagram. I think I got about 40 minutes of the session of one. So if it was three hours plus three hours plus 40 minutes, that's what six hours and 40 minutes I spent on that one. And I got a highly commended for it tonight. Sirik, I want a highly commended at the art show tonight. This is going to look awful on this camera, but we can try. Highly commended! Yeah. And they framed it, so I don't know where I'm putting this, but I have one, which is cool. Um, so that's nice. And yeah, that's what's happening with me. Yeah! But yeah, um, my main thing with painting is it doesn't really matter how long it takes, you just get it to a point where you love it. If you need something to face the wall for six months and then come back to it, do it. It doesn't matter. If you're painting things for a deadline, it can be a pain in the butt, but other than that... Thank you. 
I don't have too many pieces now that I completely give up on. It's more I give up on concepts now. I'll have like concepts I'm really excited about painting and then I'll get to the actual painting time and I'll be like, no, I want to do something else. And this piece is a bit like that. I've got an unfinished one from Life Drawing that I was going to turn into a painting of Circe because she's sitting in like this round chair and she looks like she's ready to pour poison in water. And there's another, I think it's a water house painting of Circe, which is this beautiful deep green. And that's the color I used in this life drawing piece. And I was like, yes, yes, this is such a good idea. I will do this. And then I came up with the harpy idea and I'm like, no, I want to do that. So it's very much a, I have limited time. So I have to do the idea I'm the most passionate about. That's a bit of shadow, there you go. So that's a shadow coming down from the leg. Maybe the feathers. Hmm. I'm just gonna figure out how to make this claw at the back look a bit more obvious because it's in shadow, it's really subtle. You've sort of got one, two, three, and then there's a four here, and the four you can't see at all. this whole underpainting to be done so that way it's it's drying and ready for the next layer in about a week maybe a bit less because I've been using quick dry medium so that helps all right I went to adjustments until I'm finished this foot one foot and then adjustments and then I'll be done I often find when I'm near the end of an underpainting, that's when I'll notice that some bits are much higher or lower in value than they should be. So that's what the adjustments phase is for. This foot is not as in light. Squeaky nose. Yeah. Art hot takes. I don't know what class this is an art hot take. So things like I don't like the idea of art factories when the art artists in the factory are not credited. That is some famous artists don't actually make their own artwork, they hire other artists to make it for them. They just do the idea and then take their paycheck home. Because I feel like if artists do that, then they should actually say on the artwork, this is a Damien Hirst made by person A, person B, person C, person D. Like a film has credits. Because if you don't credit your people, I think that's wrong. Being the director for an artwork is completely different to being the sole creator. And things should be credited as such. Personal opinion. Does that count as a hot take? That's just an opinion. Is there a difference? This claw is really satisfying because it's out on its own. It's not f mixing into the feathers like the other one did. Yeah. Oh, I should be using the mild stick for this. Then I won't be leaning on the board all the time. Come out, you. This is my trusty golf stick. 
which I use to lean on, like this. So anytime you're working on something that you don't want to be leaning on it with your hand, you use a stick. Or a golf club. It's an opinion and a good one. At that, I was thinking something a little spicier. <laughs> not spicy to imply that big famous artworks who get artists who get millions of dollars for their work to go to museums all around the world don't actually make their own work so fuck them <laughs> fair enough I don't know what's spicier everyone's just talking about AI at the moment in the art world that is the spicy topic of conversation whether you can or whether you can't I know a lot of artists now who are using it to help with like compositions in references but they're not painting directly from it they're just using it to test ideas I feel really bad for like storyboard artists because their jobs is just gonna be completely overrun by AI I get really annoyed when I google things now and I have to say negative AI when I use google images it's a pain um, Especially when you're looking, looking for specific classical paintings and you just get a whole lot of AI generations that use that painting as part of the prompt. They're a pain. It would be spicy to someone who is uninformed on art. That's true. That's true. People who know about art factories, they know how it all works. People who are naive, they're the ones who are shocked when you're like, do you realise that Patricia Piccinini wasn't actually made by Patricia Piccinini? She just drew a napkin sketch and then gave it to a sculptor and they did all the work. Which again, I'd be fine with if it was Patricia Piccinini as made by Sam Jinx, for example. I'm naming names. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, nice sharp claws. Awesome. Alright, I think that's just about done. So now I just need to do adjustments. So I'm just going to do a sit back in the chair. And by sit back I actually wheeled back and I'm just going to quickly chuck some bright brights in. So I've tried to avoid using white white for pretty much everything but the chin and like this side of the chest and a little bit of these claws and now I can just go in and add those highlights. So they're going to punch forward whatever I use the white white on. So I'm going to use it sparingly. Mine would be that anyone who completely dismisses any art that is abstract to awe of a hand is a moron with a small brain and no taste. I mean, that's a very judgy way to put it. I think the problem is anyone who's dismissive of entire like modes of art kind of isn't really looking at the point of it. They're just speaking purely aesthetically for their taste. And that's a very shallow way to word that opinion. Um, Cause it's fine to just be talking about, you know, what you like and what your taste is, but to actually say this thing is stupid and it shouldn't be a real thing simply because it's not your taste. That's really, yeah, as you said, not not a great thought process and not something that's particularly fair on the art itself or the artists involved. There's definitely lots of styles I don't aesthetically like, but they're still perfectly valid. There's a lot of art styles I don't aesthetically like. But that's where it can be good advice to a lot of young artists to just be like, paint what you would actually put on your wall. Because then you have to not only really assess what you really love and what you really like in other people's art, but also what art would you invest in? Because investing your money and investing your time, you know, they're both pretty similar. You like pretty colors, but do you? How many things do you have hanging on your walls that have pretty colours? Mm hmm? Or do you like other things that are pretty? Do you like pretty meanings and narratives to do with things that you like? Do you like pretty digital gradations of colour or do you like textural pretty colour? 
There's lots of questions I can fire at you, Sirik. If you want. <laughs> Just reinforcing some of the dark up here in the feathers so you can see the layering of them. So it really is like one the feather laying on another in the tail in a very satisfying way. You can get not liking abstract, it's fine, but don't say things like this isn't real art. Okay, I hate that this isn't real art comment. Yeah, I'll be spicy on that. The, any Calling anything not real art is just a hollow argument. It's like saying someone putting a funny flavor on a pizza going, that's not a pizza. Just no, 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 no. Art is a broad term. It is not something that can be specified like that. This doesn't belong in a museum. Depends on the museum. You can say this doesn't belong in this museum. I would be okay with that if you backed it up with why. But a museum in general, that's you again, just professing your quality idea. You're not the one curating the museum. And if you are, cool. You curate that museum. Other people will curate other museums and they will pick things that you will not pick. And that's okay. You have one thing on your wall because of where I can have something and it's a canvas thing my brother got me that's mostly black and white. See, that hasn't got colour. But then again, you didn't buy that for yourself. So are you putting it up because of social obligation or are you putting it up because you really like it? Or do you find black and white pretty colours? Or pretty values? We're getting real self-aware on our artistic choices right now. I think that's my thing in general with like artistic comments. I hate people who are really dismissive. Art is the least, you know, normal place to be dismissive of things. The whole point of art is to be accessible and be approachable and be, you know, start conversations. So dismissing conversation is sort of anti the exercise, you know? Anytime anyone says they could paint like Picasso or Rosco, I want to grab them by the shoulders and shake them. No, I want to sit them down at a table and say, do it. <laughs> I'm not going to shake you. I'm going to sit you down at a table with some paints and go, go on, do it. Go on. If it doesn't look exactly the same, try again. See how long you end up sitting there. It'd be fun. Both social obligation, but I do also like it. Yay! It's a fancy looking cup thing. Well, there you go. You like some things that aren't necessarily green colors. Look at you, broad, broad things. Yes, we are having two different conversations at the same time. I'm okay with it. <laughs> That's how my brain works out the time anyway. God, Sarah, you should see us at our craft afternoons. Like, it is 100% three conversations at the same time, if not more. Which I know would not be surprising. I'm just doing some tiny little adjustments, just strengthening some shadows. And then we're done. I'm so happy with it so far. Colour's going to be interesting because I'm going to be making up a whole bunch of colour for this. Because the reference photo for the human part has some nice colours, but then the bird itself is pretty much grey and I think I want a little bit more colour in the bird part so it is integrated as one creature. So I'll use the same palette throughout and we'll see how much it develops. Still a little issue on the neck here. Maybe. Not surprising at all. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, McMac with the Skullfax, for bringing in some fun conversation. I really like your prompts. Your prompts are great. <laughs> and thank you so much, Sirik, for letting us know a bit about your art collection. I think I'm just about ready to finish. Let me just twiddle down here with the eyes. I'm really 
happy with that effort. We got through so much tonight. Yeah, for adrenaline. Fun conversation. Yay. All right. Oh, my favorite piece of bad art. Um, hold on one sec. I'll, I'll move the camera around. Let me have a little think. Let me have a little think. Let's just look at DB's beautiful photography again for a sec. Sorry for the tiny little moving face cam. Whoa. Enjoy my studio roof. And... Ah! Oh, there you are. Hey. Alright, last question. So, let's go. By the way, I've got to ask you, what is your favourite piece of bad art that you still either somewhat enjoy or just find fascinating? Mm. So this is art that other people have done, not just bad drawings I've done. Um... See, there's things like Jake and Dinos Chapman. Do you know them? They do art that's uncanny valley and creepy, but I don't know if I would call it bad art because it's very high production value, even though people would call it like mannequins, basically. Um, let me look them up. Uh, oh, hold on, I should do this with the screen off in case you get weird, weird results. Yeah. Go face only for a sec. Ha. Um, Jake and Dennis Chapman. I don't know. I liked how angry everyone got about the banana on the wall um, by Maurizio Catalan. And a lot of Maurizio Catalan's work I really like. Um, but same thing, he does a lot of art uh, that's like bad art but like high production value. So the high production value immediately gives you something to like cling on to, I think. That's fine. Cookies are fine. Show me. Fourth. That's not stream appropriate, that one. There's a lot of genitals in their work. Um, oh, there you go. They call some of their art bad art for bad people. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> if anyone wants to Google Jacob Dinosh Chapman, that's, that's it. Your favorite piece of bad art is clearly Danger Beard Butt Trumpet. I would not call that bad at all. That is a gift. That is a musical gift to the community. <laughs> What's your favorite piece of bad art in Mac with this Colfax? Oh my god, just eating shredded cheese out of the bag? Yes. Mozzarella. Thank you, good times. And especially when you're like goleming in the fridge to do it without anyone seeing you do it while your head is in the fridge. <laughs> Thank you. I've, I've really enjoyed chatting with you tonight. No, no, thank you very much. And and yeah, thank you for watching me do my work. I love I love painting and doing all my things. I try to be interesting and thoughtful. I don't always succeed, but that's okay. Um, it's an animated Adult Swim show called Mr. Pickles. I don't know that one. It was on the list. I haven't watched Adult Swim in a little while. I used to watch like um. What was the one that, like, Drawn Together? I used to watch Drawn Together and Metal Lock Lips and, um, like, I don't know if Rick and Morty started there, but I used to watch Rick and Morty. I haven't watched the recent stuff. Um, designed to have a revolting and unpleasant on every single aesthetic, thematic, and narrative level. <laughs> Is it watchable or does it get, like, too much? Because I can find, like, gross aesthetics and themes and that fine as long as the narrative is still watchable, I think. I think that was my problem with why, like, Spongebob went weird after season four when all the writers changed, because it went from having, like, watchable narrative to not. Um, yeah. Makes you physically nauseous to watch, but you respect the commitment. Yeah. <laughs> well, some people are like that with Vin Dovar's work. He's one of my favourite artists, and he's the one who made the cloaca, the, um, gallery machine down in Tasmania that is the mechanical human digestive system. They feed it every day, and then it poops. And it smells. It has. You read about it and you see pictures of it. And then you go see it, and before you even get in the room, you smell it. You can smell digestive enzymes and poo. And it's just so visceral, but so cool. Um, so that could be good. Yeah. 
This day where you're back and ready to relax. Yeah, I just finished my underpainting. I'll show you. Oh, I can't show you because my camera died. Mainly because my camera died. <laughs> my um, normal camera, the battery went. So I need to figure out what's happening there. I'm guessing it didn't charge today properly or something. Maybe the cord wasn't even right. Um, so whoops. But thank you for being here. Good night, Siri. You have a good one. Um, I'll post a picture of where I'm up to in the Discord, Mr. D, so you can have a look as well. Um, the narrative about Mr. Pickles is about a dog possessed by a devil who terrorizes a small town. Oh god, yes, the poop machine! Hey, to be fair, the poop machine that Mona owns down in Tasmania is the most aesthetically pretty of them all, because that's like version 6, and the versions before that were very much two stacked washing machines. Um, so the idea of like, food and digestive enzymes going around a washing machine for some reason is way less aesthetic to me than version 6 which is like six giant glass vials in this long mechanical contraption um okay it sounds like a really funny black comedy concept but you promise it's not okay i, I guarantee you i'm gonna watch five minutes of this show and go nah i'm not strong enough <laughs> one of your fave uncomfy feeling artists is david van Gogh. You used your face as inspiration like 15 years ago to create a piece about conjoined circus twins. <gasps> yes, please find it. Please put that in the Discord under show your work. Please, 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 please. Oh my god. That's cool. What an artsy name too. David Van Hoch. Does he pronounce it like Hoch or Go? Or Goff? QI told me it's pronounced Van Hoch, so that's why I always do the Hoch. <laughs> Gotta trust Stephen Fry, right? This has been really fun. I'm going to say thank you all so much for tonight. This has been really, really nice. Thank you for all sharing in my good news, even though the news cycle today has been less than lovely. Um, I'm really happy with how this painting's going. I will post a image of it in the Discord. Um, I'm just going to post the Discord thing. Um, yeah, so that way we know where we're up to, and then, yeah, when this is dry, we can go in with colour and make a decision about the background. I'm not sold on the background just being left as silver, but I don't know, if colour's on it and it looks like a real 3D item, maybe I will try and just leave it. It's mostly the fact that it's so smudgy. Um, it's not lovely. Thank you, DB. I'm bloody chuffed too. <laughs> It's quite nice. But everyone, please check the Discord in about 10 minutes or so to see Mrs. D's cool beard bad art. Gonna post this in Not Safe for Work channel. Do I have a Not Safe for Work channel? Do I? I know, I know what channels I have. Totally not. Oh, I do too. Cool. Yay me! Oh yay whoever helped me made that- Oh yeah, because I posted some of my life drawing stuff that was very booby -y. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yes, please do post it in there, that works fine. Just credit what it is so we remember in reverse context, because if we open up the Discord later and go- What was that again? Yay. <gasps> oh, that's interesting. Alright. Mm, no, I think I can show this on stream. I think I think that's subtle enough. I'll, I'll show it on stream. Hey, that's a heck of an expression you did for that. Oh, that's cool. Move back with the skull facts. I might have to go before answering the next existential question. Can we start the next stream with Do you think you'd still love cats if they could talk? Because that's a good one. Cats do talk, that is very true. My sister's cat, Poppy, talks a lot. This is really cool art. Why would you call it bad art? Just because it's sort of, like, campy? It's a little campy, but it's also quite cool. It is Tim burton -y with that sort of carnival aesthetic. You could print another one. Just print another one. 
We'll get another one printed. Mm. If someone walking away annoyed from you, they verbally insulted you. I'm not following that one. That's alright. <laughs> but yes, let's open the next stream you're in with Do You Think Cats? Do you think you'd still love cats if they could talk? I probably would. I'd probably think they were autistic or something. It's not bad, he just doesn't come for your visceral stuff. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's a better, that's a better term for it. Because yeah, when we were talking about bad art, I'm like, I wouldn't call this bad at all. <laughs> but definitely uncomfortable. Um. Oh. Yeah, no, carnival stuff between Europe and North America is very, very different and interesting, which is great, I think. Because just the whole aesthetic... I'm really sad that Australia doesn't really have a carnival culture, but then again, we have a lot of human rights issues, so we probably don't need that. Alright, I should say goodnight. I should say goodnight, because I need to do things and pack up before bed anyway. But thank you all so much for coming to stream today, and I love you all so much. Thank you so much for streaming on YouTube and on Twitch. Um, again, our goals at the moment for Twitch is just I need to stream another three times? this month, um, which I've got scheduled and I've got my schedule in my YouTube community tab and in my Discord um, under announcements so you can check that out and see if you're free for any of the other streams if you want to come by and chat again that would be great. Um, and then my goal on YouTube is just watch hours, we're just trying to get the watch hours up so that way I can monetize my YouTube so we've still got a long way to go but if you're ever interested in watching any of my other videos please feel free to chuck them on in the background while you're doing what you're doing or hunt them up if you think they'll be helpful for you for painting. But have a lovely night and don't forget to wash your brushes! Mwah. See you later! Bye!